I don't think that's what the update is. I don't think.
so excited to give cool women my money. More and more people are saying this every day. More and more people are saying that every day. I don't get it. Holly, my friend Holly, I was to tell you, they are good too. Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of Rainbow Cruise. They added fucking what? Update will honestly change the world. That's great. Bro, Jay Kaufman, turn your shit down, it's too loud! Fuck! It's good, but you mix that shit louder than everything else I have!
This is called what? Cole. This is called what? Hey, dirt. What is this? Gold nugget. What is this? Hammer. Wednesday night. Wednesday motherload mine. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not actually doing Motherload Mine tonight. I hope I didn't get anyone's hopes up. Uh, thanks if I tricked you. excuse to take uh, buses and trains and stuff on the regular. Uh, I don't miss when they would break down. <laughs> don't miss that at all. Could you hit me up with one last flimpy? Woohoo, flimpy! Thank you so much, man. Hi, everyone! Let me get a bit of music rolling again. Sure, let's go with that. Hey, thank you, Sign, for the resub. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Uh, thank less you as well three. for all the other subs we had uh, at the start of the stream. All very much appreciated. Uh, it's been a while. I hadn't realized how much of a while it had been uh, until I, like, opened up OBS and Twitch today to get streams sorted and saw, oh, my last stream was, like, the end of February and now it's, uh, more than halfway through March. Damn, huh? <laughs> uh, it's been, a it's been a busy past little bit for me. Um, I've been doing a bunch of work off stream 
uh, or with like other people's streams. Um, and that was eating up a lot of my time. Uh, and it kind of got to a point where I realized that I've been maybe a little bit overworking myself for the past couple of months. Uh, and the, the, <laughs> the mental symptoms of that started to become the physical symptoms. So I, uh, been taking some time to rest because it was badly needed. Uh, realistically, I'm still taking some time to rest. Uh, so unfortunately I can't promise, like, a lot in the way of streams for the foreseeable future. Uh, it is what it is. Doing, doing what I can to take care of myself, you know. It's, uh... But all we can all hope for, I suppose, you know? It's needed badly! <laughs> yeah! Uh, speaking of work, um, I, I ended up making a command for it because, uh, hey, I figure now that I'm working on this project to a more permanent degree, uh, I might as well have links to it so people can check it out. Uh, the, uh, let me, let me type that shit out. The, the, the newest, uh, update for Welcome Home came out, uh, recently, and that's a link to the credits, which is evidently the most hidden page in the entire thing. Um, and you can look at that, and you can see all the cool people that worked on it, and then you can go look at the, look at the website, look at the project itself. I'm, uh, I'm real proud of all the work, uh, that folks put into, uh, our several months long ordeal. <laughs> Um, it feels... It doesn't feel real, uh, knowing that there is, like, an art project out there, out there in the world, uh, that, you know, people to some degree know about and have talked about, that I have, like, a writing and editing credit on. That still, that still feels fake to say, but I did that shit. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, it was, it was, a uh, it was a real wild opportunity getting to work on, uh, someone else's project like that and collaborate with some real cool people to bring something like this to life. I'm also very flattered to have found, uh, a group of artists. Sorry, I'm playing with a bunch of clothes pegs on my desk. I probably shouldn't be doing that. But it's fun to keep the hands busy. Uh, it's it's very flattering and a little bit vindicating to have found. Uh, you didn't know Puzz was on the Welcome Home team too. What? <laughs> I feel like she's been talking about this for months. <laughs> Listen, I'm 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 not I'm not about here. I'm not about to sit here and like give someone else's story of what they do on the project away, I suppose, but like Welcome Home probably wouldn't exist without Puzz. <laughs> it wouldn't exist in the state it does right now without Puzz. <laughs> like straight up. Shout outs to my fucking wife. Thought she's basically always been on the team? Uh, not really, but she's always been on the team since it started growing to be a team instead of just a thing Clown was working on, I suppose. Uh, Puzz is a little bit of a, a project manager <laughs> for the thing. Not particularly familiar with it as a project. Well, now you can be, if you want. It's up to you. Uh... Good lord, if then she's been busting her fucking chops on it. Helping everything come together. But uh yeah, it's 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 been very cool and exciting and a little vindicating to have found like uh, a group of artists uh that understand what my like truest greatest talent and greatest calling is. Uh which is making awful slurping and eating sounds into my microphone for like a good 10-15 minutes. <laughs> Puzz's particular style oozes from Welcome Home. Uh, that's Clown's style first and foremost. It's 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 their project. <laughs> there, it's 
It's it's their thing, it's their style, it's their ideas, it's their art. We're all just working off of that. <laughs> it's 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 a collaboration. Everyone puts their little bits into it. Uh but you know, it's 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 clown's project. But uh yeah, it was a lot of fun to make awful awful uh Santa Claus eating and burping sounds among other things. So I'm glad people get to listen to that now. Uh, recording that was fun because most people that were like in the Discord call while we were recording had to deafen and not listen to it. Um, which <laughs> I think means I was doing a good job. <laughs> uh, and I got to do some other miscellaneous voice work. And again, I got to do some... Some, some writing and editing, which is wild to think that I have now technically done that in a professional context. Uh, but life comes at you fast sometimes, you know? Uh, I hope I hope folks have enjoyed pecking through that. I know I did kind of uh, enact mandatory put myself under a rock and live under a rock for a while mode, like as soon as that update dropped, but uh, I hope folks have been enjoying it. The noises immediately made your face shrivel when you heard them. Uh, that's... What I was hoping for. <laughs> um... And I hope, I hope, I hope folks have been, uh, enjoying it, poking at it, uh, looking for... Looking for the little bits that we hid away all through it and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not gonna... Give spoilers away or nothing in case folks haven't engaged with the website and want to do their little scavenger hunt and stuff, but, uh... There's some cool stuff there, not just the stuff I worked on, of course. Uh, so I hope folks enjoy that. Um, what else? I I had a Pedal Crash song come up earlier, and it made me remember I wanted to promote the Pedal Crash 2 crowdfund, and that literally ended today. Um... <laughs> so... Uh, that's unfortunate timing on my part. Uh, but Pedal Crash 2 is gonna be real. I'm not affiliated with that, I just think it's fucking cool. Uh, I- I remembered to back it just in time, so I'm happy about that. Uh, that shit's gonna be fun. What is Pedal Crash? It's a puzzle game. I played the first one on stream a while ago. I got to, uh... I got to do, uh, sort of an early demo of the online play as well, which I was real flattered about. Pedal Crash is esports, yeah. That's true. Uh, you should uh, look that up <laughs> on Steam or Itch. Because that's where it is. Speaking of which, I forgot to update my fucking game command on Nightbot. I should do that now. Um, hang on. Uh, it's not Splatoon 3. Let me get a link to Ernest the Chicken and you can look at Ernest the Chicken. That's a lie. If, if the if the bot tells you it's Splatoon 3, they're tricking you, and you fell for it. You honestly got tricked so good by Nightbot. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 RuneScape tonight. Uh, did I have any other stuff I wanted to talk about before we get into it? The big one was Welcome Home. Um, and also the fact that I've been scant for a bit and might still be for a bit, but that's life. Um... I don't know, do y'all know psychic powers? Any of you have a psychic mind reader and you know what I wanted to talk about? Because I forgot about it. Do you know it? Can you tell me? One year of hell. Uh... One year of hell? Oh man, well, if you say so. Ah! 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 Oh god, the happy music playing doesn't work for hell. <laughs> um <laughs> You've poked around the Welcome Home site but couldn't find the secrets. Well, good news is there's plenty of folks out there who know how to find them and they could either give you hints or show you around. 
Did I see any cats outside lately? Yes. Um, I can start playing the video game while I do this, can't I? Because I'm going to have to just do some walking uh, in the video game. Let's get that pulled up. So there's a new title screen because there's a new update. And because there's a new title screen, there's also new title screen music, which is definitely loud because there's no way to mute the title screen music in, in RuneScape. I guess it's not definitely loud, but it's certainly... It's certainly loud. And you can listen to it. And you can go there. And we're logging in. And we're here in RuneScape's world. And, and I know I did tell you we're not doing Motherload Mine, but I tricked you. I'm logged into Motherload Mine. <laughs> you got fooled. You fell for it so good, honestly. Um, don't look at my bank pin. Don't look at my bank pin. <laughs> Hi Holly, it's been some wonderful months following you and I just wanna say thank you for the good times. I don't have much funny to say, but potato 624 sitter. <laughs> thank you for the resub potato king. I very much appreciate that. And thank you for the nice words. I'm not giving you my credit card number. No. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's teleport to fucking... What is it? Varrock? Yeah, so I need three air and one fire. Uh, let's grab those. I do my teleport. I have some runes. I've been playing a little bit uh, in my own time. I found a parrot. So I just have a parrot now. Uh, and she lives on my shoulder, and she looks a little bit like Yoshi. And I love her. Uh, I can maybe turn up the sound effects a little bit. I've been playing mostly on quiet mode, just because. Um, and so, you know, I've leveled up my stats uh, a little bit. I think I already had the, the fuck off huge mining level, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, some combat stats, some prayer, some magic, rune crafting and stuff. Is the parrot gay like Yoshi? It depends. Um, I did a couple quests off stream. Um, just because I thought they were either because I thought they were small nothing quests, or because I needed them to keep leveling things up. Um, I did Priest in Peril, which unlocks Mauritania. And I do a little bit regret not having it on stream for people to see, because that's a fun quest. It's a Scooby-Doo-ass quest. Oh, that one was cute. Um, oh, yeah, there's just a straight-up hole in the world. There's a couple. They're scary. Don't worry about it, okay? Um, I did Waterfall Quest, because I thought that was a small nothing quest. Um, and got a bunch of attack XP from it. That one's like a... There's, there's rumors of a secret treasure under a waterfall, and you go and find it. And it's like a story about the, the, the elves that used to exist in RuneScape world that don't anymore. Or maybe they do in their hiding, and you get a story about how the elf queen uh, got kidnapped. And the elf king was so sad, and he died. And there's some statues. That's, that's underselling it, but it's a fun one. Um, I've done it a bunch of times, so I know, like, how you go about doing basically all of it. But it's a, it's a neat little quest. Um, I also did, um, what's it fucking called? Uh, Shades of Morton, because I wanted to unlock Shades of Morton. Because I got, uh, <laughs> Slayer tasks related to it. So I did that. Like when they do weird shit with elves in games? Ah, uh, I think to some degree they apparently do some weird shit with elves in RuneScape. I've never done like any of the elf quests aside from Waterfall Quest that introduces you to them. But uh, I'm told they do, they go in some fun directions with it. Um, did I do any other quests in my own time? Let's see. Um, I think I did Daddy's Home, which is 
awful name. You'd literally just build a house for an old man uh, who's like squatting in an abandoned building. Save me, you have to give me your credit card information. I'm not doing that one, but thank you, Reef Sharkathist, for the resub. I appreciate it. Um, Ernesto Chicken we did on stream. I think the rest of these were done on stream. Uh, I think I, like, started Corsair Curse. Um... Oh, I did Nature Spirit, because it was on the way to Shades of Morton, and I wanted to stop being attacked by awful, awful ghouls that make my food turn into poop. Um, so I did that on my own time. I started Tree Numb Village, but haven't, like, done any progress in it. I figure we do that on stream, maybe tonight, because I want to unlock Talking Trees. And I think that's literally it, because I'm nowhere near the level for, like, master quests or anything like that. Uh, this one I have to talk to a guy in a bar to start. I did also do Daddy's Home on stream when the League was live, yeah, so you so you saw that if you watched those. Or you can see that if you watch those. Uh, how's the, the volume levels compared to, like, my voice? Should I bump it up? Make it louder? I can make RuneScape louder, it's just... It's a little finicky about audio sometimes. If you, like, turn it up all the way, it's, like, world's loudest video game. <laughs> Let me turn that up a little bit. Uh, let's try that. See how that goes. It got scary for a moment? Okay, well. Uh, scares you. Got you so good, you, you do have to admit. Um... Yeah, I, I, I did Shades of Morton Koopa Jr. We're probably going to walk by that place. Because I looked up these Myreek quests. I assume that's how you pronounce it, is Myreek. And uh, I need to do them to unlock a bank right next to Shades of Morton. So that I can actually fucking do Shades of Morton and like do my Slayer task without being miserable. So <laughs> I'm doing this instead of unlocking the like more meaningful uh, teleport options. Uh, and there's- there's some guys I can talk to here, I suppose. Oh! Right! Also, I was talking about cats! Um, one of my neighbor's cats. They- they- they keep letting them out, which I'm sad about, but, uh... Comes to our house and, like, squats on our front lawn. And I haven't gotten... I haven't gotten the thing to trust me enough to let me pet it. But, uh, the other day, for a while, I was just, like, sitting on my front- my front steps while it was like squatting on my lawn and we were just kind of hanging out like that and it didn't run away from me scared uh and that that that's a win in my book and then it saw the neighbors come home and it just ran because it saw their car pull in and it, he got so excited to go inside it was very cute cute little cat um and then the other night i went for a late night walk uh and i saw a different cat very fluffy um, and I also wanted it to get closer to me. Uh, and it didn't want to, but I, I kind of squatted near it for a while and looked at it. Um, and I think the people that maybe live in that house noticed, because, uh, they understandably, I guess, saw a stranger squatting near their driveway, uh, <laughs> not moving, like, you know, with a hood up and a mask on, uh, and, like, shut their windows and audibly locked their door. Or shut their window blinds, I should say. Uh, at that point, I was like, Oh, I probably look like a fucking creep. I should go. <laughs> um, and then also the other day, I don't remember if I talked about this on stream. Probably not. Um, I walked by a different neighbor's house that I know has a bunch of cats. I think they used to have, I don't know if they still do. They used to have a cat that looked like Lola, but like a little fatter. So we called him Fat Lola. Um, but I saw a different cat that they have that was just, like, squatting in their driveway, and I was like, oh, hi, buddy, what are you doing? Um, and they just kind of looked over at me, and they were like, oh, hey, and then re went right back to squatting, um, just, like, near some of their little shrubs that they have growing. And then the, uh, the, the, the lady that lives there, she's, like, an older Italian woman, and she comes out. Um, and she just starts cooing at this cat, like, Oh, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, look at you. You gotta come in now. It's time for you to come in now. 
You gotta come inside now? You gotta come inside now. You have to come inside now. Why don't you want to come in? You have to come in now. Hey, come on in. Why, why aren't you moving? Come in now. Come on. And then she turns to me and in like a really sweet voice and like all smiles. I've, I've been intimidated by this woman just because like she seems like a stern old lady and just like some offhand talking I've heard her doing. Uh, but she turns to me very sweetly, very kindly, big smile on her face and just goes, He doesn't want to come in. And then goes right back to chastising the cat. <laughs> Um, not a minute later, walking down the street, uh, I see a really cool-looking, like, dead wasp nest. Just, like, on someone's lawn that got knocked out of a tree, I guess. Uh, so that was a good walk. <laughs> That's not a cat, but I- it, it bears mentioning, because it was cool. Uh, I think that's... All of the cat findings that happened recently, what I can think of. Uh, thank you, Amber Lou, for that 20 month reset. Much appreciated. The local stray cat keeps showing up on our roof, so we call her Roofie. On the roof? Let's go? That motherfucker loves the roof. Confirmed. Uh, there's probably other stuff to catch up on. If I can think of, I'll, I'll talk about it. But, uh, it, it's largely been me going hey, I gotta finish this work I'm working on, let's work on it, and then me going, I need to cancel literally all of my plans or I'm going to have an awful, awful breakdown, uh, and then sleeping for a couple days. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, not too much to talk about other than I'm doing a little better than I was and I'm making sure to, to take care of myself a little better. That sort of stuff. Let's talk to Rover, who is walking away from me, rude bitch. Hello there. Greetings, Traveler. Welcome to the- He's still walking away from me, this dickhead. Oh yeah, I did do a Columbo drawing. Uh, Puzz and I watched one of the later seasons of Columbo after they were off the air for like 11 years. Really good start to the reboot. Columbo wears a massive fucking wizard hat in it right after seeing a man get beheaded. I didn't mention that in the Tumblr post. That scene is literally like immediately after he investigates a man who got killed by like a prop guillotine. Straight up beheaded. Chopped right off. Good episode. Uh, it's about like a fraud trying to convince the American government that he is a psychic so that they can hire him to fight in the Cold War. Uh, which you might think, wow, that's a hell of an episode for a reboot. Uh, the episode immediately before it, the series finale, was about the, the IRA. <laughs> so, they're, they're getting a little wild with the, with the Columbo episodes, which is fun. Don't think it was a prop guillotine? No, it very explicitly was! It's one of those, like, magician trick things where it's like, oh, look at this, I put a cabbage in, chop, it gets chopped clean in half, look, I'll put a person in! Uh, but you set it up just so, so that, like, it's a trick blade that doesn't actually do any cutting. Except, uh, the murder happened without the trick that makes it safe, so an actual guy died. <laughs> Greetings, traveler! Welcome to the Hair of the Dog Tavern. What can I do you for? Uh, can I hear a story? A story? <laughs> Three question marks. Heh. <sighs> well, the only one I can think of right now is one my dear old mummy told me as a pup. Oh yeah, this is a town of werewolves, by the way. Now, how did it go? Ah, oh, yes. Once upon a time, a brave young wolf was walking through a forest when he came upon a human dressed all in red. Aha, he thought to himself. Here's a nice easy meal. But the human talked to him, and as he was always taught to be a, poli a polite wolf, he spoke back to it. I thought it said police wolf at first. Hair of the dog is a term for like a hangover cure, yeah. Well, this cunning human told him that there was a better meal that would not run away in a house in the woods. As the brave young wolf could see that this human was not fully grown, he figured maybe he'd better get a better meal at this house. So he ran as fast as his paws could carry him to the house the human told him about. Inside, he found an old human lying in bed. And although the meat was a little tough, as the human was older than he thought, he had a good meal. 
and decided to sleep it off in the house for a while. He had not been asleep long, though, when he was woken by a knocking at the door. The human in red had followed him to the house. Suspecting a human trap, the brave young wolf put on the old human's clothes and jumped into the bed so that he could pretend to be human and escape from this terrible trap. Well now. This human dressed in red came into the house and pretended to believe the brave wolf was really a human and began to talk to him. But the human started talking, asking strange questions of the wolf because the human knew that it was not a human at all. The brave young wolf decided to try and escape, for it was only a young human and not very strong. So the brave young wolf said he would eat the human if they did not let him escape. As he said this, however, the human in red shouted at him, Aha! You are a wolf! And as the human shouted this, another bigger human ran into the wood into the room from outside. <laughs> Thank you, Chojo Noid, for the resub. Oh god, hold you, sorry, that's scary. I came out as trans recently, and the idea of trans people like you really helped me gather the courage to come out to myself. Oh hell yeah. And I wanted to thank you for just existing around in Tulet Land. Keep being cool, thanks, okay. Hey, I'm just doing my best to be me out here, you know? I'm happy for you. Thank you for that resub. Uh, I hope you're doing good. Uh, and I hope you continue to do good. Congrats, that's wonderful. Where was I in my wolf story? <laughs> and as the human shouted this, another bigger human ran into the room from outside. The bigger human was much stronger and was carrying an axe, and the poor young wolf died in this terrible trap made for him by the humans. And do you know what the moral of the story is? Uh, no, not really. It's never trust humans, of course. My dear old mammy told me that story when I was a pup and I'm still alive and well to tell it to you today. Pretty good story, huh? Uh, uh yeah, it, it was great. Really. This, all of uh, Mauritania is fun because it's a very like fairy tale ass place. You've got like the werewolf place. You've got the, the awful ghosts place. You've got the vampire city. Uh, you've got a different ghost uh, port town over here. You've got Frankenstein Castle over here. Uh, there's the damn bad swamp. I don't know what the fuck this place is, but it exists. Uh, <laughs> it's it's cute. It's it's fun. It's just like the what if we what if you wanted to go to Halloween? <laughs> Hi, Frankie. Speak of the devil. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you the guy that gives me this quest? Can I have some gossip? Well, I don't know. The village is kind of on the fringe out here. I don't know how up to date the stuff I hear about is. Uh, tell me about this village. Want to know about Canifis? I don't know why, not a lot happens here. We're just your typical everyday down-as-earth werewolf folk, after all. So, everyone here is a werewolf. Yep, we are as Zamorak made us. Hey, hell yeah. You mentioned Zamorak. Yeah, he's great, isn't he? Every year we hold a big festival to give thanks to Zamorak for keeping us well-fed and happy here. Uh, Zamorak is the, like, god of chaos and fire and things exploding. Uh, and scary stuff. <laughs> Not, not, not quite the god of evil as they may come out to be in like, you know, 2001, 2002, but, uh, the, the story of are any of the gods good or evil is a loaded question, and I'm told. <laughs> and also mostly explored in RuneScape 3, but kind of touched on in this. I hear over in the west they worship Sarah Doman, but I don't know why. What's he ever done to help out us werewolves, huh? I hear he has all these crazy followers who say things like we shouldn't kill people and eat them. What's up with that? <laughs> so, uh, when, when is this festival? <laughs> ah, not for a good few months yet. Come and ask me again nearer to the time. I'll keep some extra meat and mead back from the rest for you, pal. This guy rules. Okay, let me just double check who I actually have to talk to to start the quest. <laughs> so that I'm not just 
faffing about for the entire night in search of the Myrique um, is... Vanstrom Klaus. Okay. Vera, Imre, Nikolai, Mila... Vanstrom... There we go. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep talking to this guy because he rules. <laughs> Give me more gossip. Give me more fucking gossip. Tell me all about cannabis. Tell me about the land of Mauritania. Doing my best not people impression, so how about that party? <laughs> so how about that time we, uh, you know, uh, ate a guy and rolled around in his guts? <laughs> yeah, how, uh, how about that? Yeah, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? It was a good night last night. Tell me about the land of Mauritania. Well, I don't know what to tell you, really. This village is called Canifis and lies on the border between Mauritania and Mistelin. So we're kind of on the front lines if those Ceridominists to the west ever decide to attack us. Southeast of here is the castle of Lord Draken, our master. Lord Draken? Dracon? Draken? How the fuck you pronounce that? It's text. Who is that? Ah, you must be new to these parts if you haven't heard of Lord Draken. He's the lord of this land, and we all pledge allegiance to him. No, not cannabis. Cannabis. Um... But there's certainly a hell whole lot of green out here. Hey, I'm certainly be getting herb lore levels out here. Hey, that's the only weed jokes I can come up with. There's probably a better one, but I'm a little strapped as it is tonight. In return for our allegiance and the tithe, of course, he keeps our land safe from any invaders and the Ceridominists who want to kill us all. Tithe? What, what do you mean? Ah, well, in return for his protection. We have to give Lord Draken a share of blood every week. Literally doing a slayer task in the bar right now? Uh-oh! <laughs> if we don't have any to spare from our hunts, then we need to pick a member of the village to give their life in return for the blood so that the tithe is fulfilled. You mean you kill someone you know in order to meet the tithe? But if it's covered in butter and garlic. No, that, that shrimp gotta be alive, and that's not even a morsel. It's not a lot of blood in a shrimp. You, you, you see how small those fuckers are? You can desk things for the 18 month resub. <laughs> that's right! But only if we haven't managed to get enough spare blood from our hunts. It's kind of severe if you look at it that way, but frankly, I think the price is fair in return for his protection and his tolerance of our village. He could probably kill us all if he wanted us gone, so... Keeping on his good side is worth the sacrifice to us. <laughs> Lucky we're not human, really. What do we even need shrimp blood for? For shrimp alive? Like any other blood. <laughs> for alive. <laughs> yeah, the combo meter thing is really fucking goofy on Twitch. It, 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 it makes me smile and clap my hands a little bit, because it's so dumb a feature, but I'm, I'm charmed by it. Why's that? He hates humans! Apparently long ago, his brother Draenor was trapped in Mistelin and lost much of his powers and was recently killed by some human! Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> wild, huh? <laughs> Ooh, crazy story, that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> hey, I think I gotta go, by the way. My mom says I gotta go home right now, immediately. <laughs> Man, I'd hate to be a human around here, that's for sure. Draken would really enjoy hunting them down and killing them. Uh, thanks for the info! I wanna hear more, though. Tell me more. This is awesome. Tell me more. Uh, hello, Chrono Drago one Thanks for tuning in. Uh, what you got? What you got for me? Tell me about the shopkeeps here. Hmm? Why? Who'd you want to hear the gossip about? Damn, there's a couple guys we can hear about. Ru RuneScape writing is very funny. There, There's, like, specifically... See, this is part of why I, like, really, really want to try and save as many quests as I can for stream, because it's it's like a fun little adventure game thing we get to read together. There, There is specifically one of the quests 
in the new update today. I don't know why, I haven't looked into it, but there is one quest that just dropped today that no one knew was coming, and that everyone is going fucking bonkers over, like, oh man, this is one of the best quests ever. This quest is awesome. This is, like, maybe one of the funniest single things they put in this video game. This is maybe the best part of this whole new update. There's a lot of shit in this new update. Uh, so that's exciting for whenever I get around to it. It's not difficult to go to Varlamore. There's, like, a quest with no requirements you have to do. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, then you can go, so... Maybe on some stream sometime soon. The Shadowbringers of Funny RuneScape! So, so imagine if Shadowbringers was about a frog having a labor dispute. <laughs> Thank you, non-human, for the awesome tip, and it's true, it's real! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! I don't think Shadowbringers was about frogs, generally. Okay, tell me about, uh, Shot the Tanner. Or is that Spot? That's fucking Spot! Motherfucker, that's all dog jokes, come on! Hey, I won't hear a word said bad about the guy. He's an honest and hard-working wolf if I ever met one. Is it World Frog Day? You might be tricking me, but I trust you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Geo's Die. I hope I pronounced that name right. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, he's an honest and hard-working wolf if I ever met one. He charges a lot for his job, but he's one of the best tanners I've ever seen, and I'm over 400 years old! Damn, he'll look good for 400! You need stuff tanning? I recommend him. It is, in fact, Frog Day? Yo! They released a frog quest on Frog Day? Let's go! Game is good? Okay, well, I have to go through a bunch of dialogue boxes to, to get at the good stuff. I'm gonna keep doing it, but man, I wish it didn't end the dialogue every time. <laughs> Give me the fucking gossip! Alright, let's hear about uh, Rufus the food seller. Ah, yeah, good ol' Rufus. He's kinda getting on in years and doesn't like to come out of his wolf form so often, but let me tell you this. That guy is a hunter through and through. You seen how much food he catches a day? That takes real dedication. Some of the younger pups think just because a wolf has a bit of gray in his fur, then he's past it. But I've seen him put those pups to shame in a hunt. He's a real inspiration to us all. It's 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 fun to get the scoop on these like random NPCs that you maybe just talk to once or twice, if at all. Like. You, you don't have much reason to talk to Spot the Tanner, especially because he charges more than other Tanners. Uh, Barker the Clothes Seller. Eh, I don't really like the guy much. But you can't knock the quality of his stock. Yo, thank you, Lauren, for the raid. I hope you had fun with the Binding of Isaac. The Bidding of Sack. I hope you had fun pooping and peeing in the video game. Uh, this is the poop update of um, RuneScape, so it's basically the same game that you were just playing. There's some fine quality threads you can get yourself there. What's wrong with them? Eh, I can't really tell you, to be honest. Something about the guy just gets my hackles up and he, every time he opens his yap, know what I mean? No. <laughs> oh, lucky for you. I can't really explain it, I just don't like the guy. Does great clothes though, you gotta give him that. You literally cannot hear me for some reason. Why? <laughs> like any audio at all or just me talking? Weird. That shit's not muted, is it? Doesn't look like it. Give me more. Give me the gossip. Tell me all about these motherfuckers. Oh, I heard all about these motherfuckers. No, never mind. Uh... Fidelio, the general store owner. Every other audio in Firefox works? It's the curse. Uh, it's the curse. Run escape. Yo, thank you, Val, for 47 months. You gotta get the fuck out of here. Run. 
I bet you have some juicy gossip about Fidelio, the general store owner. That nut job! Oh, sure, we all know him. He was a real firebrand daredevil when he was younger, always taking risks to make himself a quick buck. He got himself caught up in the smuggling trade, sneaking over the border into Mistelin or pretending to be a human so he could buy exotic items to sell. Exotic items? From Mistelin? Like what? Oh man, you name it. Flour, buckets, tinder boxes, chisels. He could get the lot. He's been doing it so long now that his nerves are shot. And nowadays he's a disgrace. He can barely string a sentence together and jumps at his own shadow. Makes you feel ashamed to be a werewolf. Damn. They're fucking getting his ass. They hate him. I don't want to buy a beer. I don't have any money. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy a beer later, probably. Like how fishing nets weren't available in Mauritania before? Ha! <laughs> they weren't? That's fucking funny. I know there's like a bunch of stuff here that's like overpriced because it's like rare imports traveler from faraway lands. Oh, we talked about all these dudes already. Okay. More rumors, more rumors. Okay. Uh, tell me about the Temple to the West. Well, I'm not old enough to remember the full story behind it, but it was a terrible day for our kingdom when it was built there. Apparently, Mauritania had a once strong kingdom with land spreading far further west than they do today, and south into the desert. Until the day when a sneak attack by the hated human forces who worship Sarah Doman burned our villages and slaughtered our people en masse. They then cursed the river so that it would burn our kind should we touch it. Can you imagine? To make an entire river poisonous to us? Luckily, they seem to have calmed down somewhat recently and tend to stay on their side of the river. Hey, thank you, Zero Misu, for the resub. I love this awful swamp zone. They added a small net because of a YouTuber that had a snow- Oh! Fuck- because of fucking Swampletics?! <laughs> That's fucking awesome! Kinda stay on their side of the river. But the wrong they have done to my people will never be forgotten and will never be forgiven. What's worse is after they then had the nerve to build that gigantic statue on the river mouth to mock the slaughter of our people and the poisoning of our river. I can understand Lord Dracon's hatred for them, even if I do not share it to his extent. Hi from hot tub. Yo, hot tub viewing, let's go! If I could be streaming in a hot tub... I don't know if I would, but I'd try it. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I haven't been in a hot tub in fucking years now that I think about it, man. I want to go into a damn warm thing. That sounds fun. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Adrian. I hope you're having yourself a wonderful day. So you hate humans too? Absolutely. If I ever met one, I would gobble him up where he stands and chew the bones for dessert. Uh, okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Let's talk to this motherfucker. Hello there. The name is Vanstrom Klaus. How goes it, stranger? Quite well, thanks for asking. How about you? You could probably stream out of a hot tub? I mean, yeah, there, there was that whole Twitch meme of people being like, Yeah, here I am, in a hot tub, wearing a fucking bikini. You Look at me, I'm so... sexful and you can give me tips. That sounds more disparaging than I want it to be, but it sure was a thing that people were doing and then mocking. Um, but I just like the idea of like sitting in a fucking hot tub and just being like, Alright, and I'm also playing RuneScape, and you can't see the hot tub. You can't, you can't see or tell that I'm in it, but trust me, I'm in it. Use hot tub to watch Twitch streams? Life's beautiful? Yeah, that does sound pretty good. The, the awful gurgling of it? Yeah. That would be good. D d but, but, no, here's the thing. You have to keep insisting, like, no, guys. I know you can't see it, so you can't tell. And there's, there's no way for you to know. But you, but, but you ought to know that I am in a hot tub right now. Like, I'm sorry, there's no way for you to know for sure, but I definitely am. And there's just the deafening, churning sound of, like, you know, the hot tub going. <laughs> 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 
you could just be really hungry. If your stomach is making sounds like a hot tub or a pool, you needed to see a doctor yesterday. You needed to see a doctor three weeks ago. It's too late. <laughs> Get to the toilet right now. You're probably not getting off that thing for a couple hours. Quite well, thanks for asking. How about you? Hmm, well, I am a little concerned about some friends of mine. They're in dire need of some assistance, but I'm at a loss as to how I can help them. What friends are these? It's a personal tragedy that I have yet to meet them in the flesh. But their exploits make mouth-watering stories. The real meat and drink of high adventure and daring. <laughs> so they say. Play every game at max graphics and use the tub water to cool your PC? I don't think you understand the hot part of hot tub. 15. Uh, you should you should maybe go back and read that word. What does that mean exactly? I mean, I have some stories. I'm quite the hero myself. You may actually be talking about me. There's a group of rebels fighting against the vampires that rule over Mauritania. They're known as the Myrique. Some people call them terrorists, while others call them freedom fighters. I see. And you want to help them? Of course. I'm a big fan of their cause. I was hoping to supply them with some new weapons. Alas. I find that I'm rather lacking in ability when it comes to this kind of thing. I really wanted to help them out. I'm really fucking bad at my job, though. I start it. I do it. Well, perhaps I could take these weapons to the Myrik. What do they need? Really? You'd help? I was hoping to deliver some steel to them. Longsword, two short swords, a dagger, a mace, and a warhammer. Oh, if you wish to do this, I'm afraid you'll need to acquire the weapons yourself. My efforts to procure them have been rather unsuccessful. Hey, player! You want to do some fucking smithing? <laughs> right. Get some steel weapons and take them to the Myrique. Is that gonna work? I thought vampires are, like, immune to conventional weapons in the world of Runescape. Hmm. Where can I find them? The vampires are always hunting them, so they keep themselves hidden. I hear the boatman in Morton has dealings with them, though. Well, I'd better get going, then. How wonderful. Perhaps the people of Mauritania now have an additional hero that they can come and rely on. I want to give these cool guys weapons, but I don't know how to find them and also don't know how to get the weapons! <laughs> yeah! It's a little bit... This is either very suspicious, or this dude is just dog shit at his job. And both of those are kind of funny. <laughs> and of course our player character doesn't like to see or realize any of this, because our player character is also a bit of a dumb. That's something fun about the RuneScape player character. I don't have a graceful top yet, and so I'm just wearing my, my studded armor and my bird. Everyone loves my bird, everyone loves Yoshi. What else do you know about the Myrik? There's always some evil heel ready to grind the face of humanity into the dirt. Here in Mauritania, it's the vampires. They rule over the region, with an iron fist killing any who oppose them. Hello, RuneScape player. I love shrimp, but I cannot cook and don't know what shrimp is. That's literally your character on Tutorial Island. <laughs> they have to teach that shit to you. The Myrik are the only ones brave enough to stand up to them. They stay in the shadows, though, lest the vampires track them down. No one knows for sure how many of them there are. The group hiding in Mort Meyer supposedly has six members. There are whispers of more in other parts of Mauritania, though. And this group in Mort Meyer? They're who the weapons are for? Yes, indeed. The Myrik are almost certainly able to handle themselves. But they need the tools to do it. Uh, okay, well, I know about the weapons and the boatmen, so I'd better be all off. Okay, so. Let's begin. We need a bunch of things made of steel. I might have some in my bank that I was keeping around to throw into the fucking giant's foundry. I, I 
guess I'm not throwing them into the Giant's Foundry no more if I got them. Let's see. Let me double check what it was. Let's see. Steel Longsword, Steel Shortsword, Dagger, Mace, and Warhammer. One of each, but two Shortsword. I got Longswords. I got a Warhammer. Uh... I don't have any of the other ones because they- I don't think I could put them in Giant's Foundry, so I was just selling them. <laughs> so I have to make a couple of them. Which means I need steel bars. Um... Where did I put my fucking steel bars? Let's just take all of them in case I need all of them. I don't have room for all of them. Okay, well I have room for some of them. Uh, and then I also need to teleport out. I guess I can just go to Varrock. There's a uh, there's an anvil not too far. Uh, one, three, and I think that's the Varrock teleport. I've I've never had access to so many teleports in my life, and I've been so excited about them and so using them that I kind of have a bunch of them burned into my memory. <laughs> just like, oh shit, my tools! I can use them now. The only thing you remember about this game is burning shrimp. You sure can burn shrimp in this one. Okay. My ass is just making one. Let's see. Dagger. Uh, we need two short swords, right? You had shrimp for dinner? Hell yeah. Let's go. I had noodles for dinner. Uh, what else we need? One steel mace. One single steel mace. Oh, buddy, that's all. The boatman and Morton should be able to help. Alright, well, I got a minigame teleport that can take me there. What do I have for, for lunch? My lunch was more interesting. I had like a thing of beef. Like a thing of pulled beef that I got from the store that was like pre-made. It was like, uh, in like a maple and whiskey barbecue sauce. It was very good, but I wanted to make tacos with it. And it was like way too sweet for a taco type of thing. Uh, so the other night I just put like a bunch of extra onion and like two chipotle peppers, like an adobo sauce that I had diced up. Tossed that in, uh, cooked that a little bit together. Uh, and that shit was good. I had that today on some, some tortillas with uh, a bit of extra onion and some tomato and some lime. And uh, I was like, well, I could put like a like a sour cream or a Greek yogurt on it. But I also have like a tzatziki to finish up that I made the other day. Uh, which was... In my head, I was like, is that going to be weird putting that on like a fucking... <laughs> on like a weird like bum ass taco that I'm making. Uh and then I did that and it was good. And I had potato salad with it. Is the fog here a rune light thing? Yeah, I I I have like a weather plug-in because I think that just like having rain sometimes is cute. And it also makes fog sometimes, so the fog's rolling in. In your hotel room and can't do much stream watching, but I hope I aren't scared too much by Mauritania. I have really bad news for you, Simple Tan. I'm scared, 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 I'm so fucking scared! It's bad out here! Uh, it's about break time. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get up and do my stretch. Uh, and then when we get back, I'm gonna go to Morton and we're gonna talk to a boatman. Uh, and give him a shit ton of weapons. Uh, I'll be back. Just a few. Get up, have a stretch, get a drink or a snack. I'm just running ads for three minutes so we don't get ads in the middle of the gameplay. Uh, so it's, take a break from looking at your screen for a little bit. <laughs> You'll thank me in 10 to 15 years. You'll thank me in 10 to 15 hours. See you real soon.
Having fun shouldn't make you tired the next day. Petition to fix this. Signed. Signed. Co-signed. Because that was some real shit you just said. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm back. I got myself a little cup of herbal tea. Thank you, Plutes Boots. I was caught up in the euphoria of Stardew and forgot stream. Oops. Yeah, that big update came out, didn't it? I forgot that's out like now. Whole lot of game updates happening around now, ain't there? Wild. Oh no, it's still on random music. No, go on area. Guys are attacking me. Leave me alone! I hate these fucking phantoms. They come and they bite me, and I hate it when they bite me. Stop it! Enough of biting me! What was I talking about? I went and I got myself another cup of, cup of tea. This mother- These motherfuckers literally have infinite aggro range and do not ever leave you alone. I can't stand this area. It sucks so much to be here. I'm gonna kill this damn lore shade because I have my fucking slayer task here anyways. So I have to, but all I have is this dumbass sickle. They they straight up line up to fight you, and sometimes their hits against you don't count as like normal, like zero damage hits. And so because of that, the game goes, oh, you're not being attacked, so the other one's going to attack you now. It's the fucking worst. The audacity of these fuckers! I'm gonna eat up all my lobsters just dealing with these guys! Okay, you've, gave, you've given up. You're leaving. 
Nope, never mind. Literally, they both came right back, and I can't open any of these doors because they're not real doors. <laughs> the audacity of these motherfuckers. Ooh, damn, hang on, I'm having some frame drops. Uh oh! Not a great time or area for that to happen in. Now this motherfucker's talking to me! It's a spade. It's a fish? What? It changed. Okay, thanks. I'm having frame drops. Refresh now. The quest is on hold while I chop this guy out. Literally one of these would technically be a better weapon right now for me. So I'm just gonna club this guy for a bit. How was your day? What was I talking about? Right, I got a cup of herbal tea. Um, my, my folks went out on a a well-deserved vacation the other day. Uh, so I had the house to myself for a while, and that was nice. Spent some time, uh, some late nights with uh, my partner and some friends, that was nice. Uh, and then my folks came back and brought back a bunch of teas that they didn't want. So now I get to have them. This is a, it's a blackberry herbal tea, it's very nice, a little sweet. Okay. Are these dickheads leaving me alone now? Well, this one's trapped forever, I hope. Um, you just stay there. You, you just stay there. I'm gonna go talk to the boatman. And hope that another enemy doesn't aggro on me. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm guessing you're the boatman. Well, I am a boatman. I don't know about THE Boatman, though. Why do you ask, anyway? Uh, I hear you have dealings with the Myrique. I was hoping to take some weapons to them. Hmm. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Besides, even if I did, it doesn't look like you have suitable weapons for these Myrique. Oh, right! Because I'm holding one of them! Now someone else's attack! There's a fucking enemy inside the NPC I need to talk to! Why is this place like this? <laughs> Help! Leave me alone! You're not even, like, hard, you're just annoying! <laughs> Go away! Genuinely, like, one of the most frustrating areas in the entire game if you're just trying to, like, interact with NPCs. I had this problem when I was doing the Shades of Morton quest, too. I mean, they're not that low level. They're, like, 37 and I'm 52. You have to be, like, at a certain range compared to their level for them to not immediately aggro on you. <laughs> uh, and I think I'm, like, maybe just a little bit outside of that for the Afflicted here. Certainly outside of that for the lore shades. You're still aggroed on me. Okay. Do I just have to... No, never mind. I can talk to you from here. No, I can't, because then I moved to the side. <laughs> Man. I wish I could talk to you from a diagonal tile. I wish I could talk to you from a diagonal tile. I'm gonna hop worlds. I'm gonna hop worlds. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm going to the agility training world. Contempt 
invisible area! Hi! You're the boatman! I have weapons for the Marik! <laughs> hmm. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, I know you're in cahoots with them. It's important that I get these weapons to them. Well, okay. I may have done some work for them before. It's too dangerous now, though. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Great to see you streaming again. I'm sorry, you have to hurry up your TTS message! This fucking guy here could aggro on me! <laughs> and interrupt the time! <laughs> you made me hesitate! You caused this! It's your fault! <laughs> you did that! So how is <laughs> uh, I guess you're all out of luck. <laughs> Come on, you can tell me. I just can't. They're watching us, you know. Eyes everywhere. Well, I guess they'll just die without weapons. You don't seem too concerned about their welfare. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't tell you where they are. In any case, they're resourceful. They can look after themselves. What's that supposed to mean? They're resourceful folks is all I'm saying. The leader of their group, Veliaf, looks after them well. Resourceful enough to get their own steel weapons? Maybe they are. What do you care anyway? They've been up against they've been up against it ever since they got started. All of them have suffered more loss and heartache than you'll ever know. Now leave me be! What kind of loss and heartache have they suffered? The worst kind. Most have lost members of their family. I can't stand this guy getting this close to me. I should have brought the fucking potions for them to make them turn into normal guys. Take Sani Piliu, for example. She was orphaned overnight when a vampire went on the rampage. Imagine that. Losing your entire family in one night. Terrible. That sounds awful. Who is Sani Piliu? She's the only female member of the Myrique. Damn, they got a hiring issue. Her agility and light fingers have got them out of quite a few sticky situations. Every single guy, this- Every single time this guy gets closer to me, it stresses the fuck out of me. Don't- <laughs> Fine, I'll just kill this guy, I guess. Okay, well... Welcome to Morton, everybody! You try to talk to literally anyone and three guys appear and go, What if we beat you up, though? I maybe should have come out here and, like actual protective gear, but whatever. We're out here. We're living. Let's fuck this thing. Might as well take the herb. Okay, well... Uh... I just want to help them. I think they need help. I, everyone in these lands needs help. I'm sorry, though. It's just not safe. It's not likely to get safer anytime soon. Look, I feel for them, I really do. They're fighting the good fight out there. And unfortunately, some of them probably won't live through it. Ivan in particular I feel sorry for. He's the youngest of their group, and he's seen too few winters to be involved in such toil. Then tell me how to find them. I can help them. I support their cause. That doesn't mean I want to die for them, though. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> World's most miserable quest design! World's most miserable- it's the worst one! They've made the worst one! It's this one! It's this one! You've made a mistake if you've come here at too low of a level! You gotta be persuasive to this guy, but someone just walks up and starts aggroing on you! So you literally can't talk to him, because if you get attacked, it ends dialogue! Can I stand on this corner here? No, I have to walk 
like, in front of him. Like, I have to be, like, north, south, east, west, cardinal directions. And this isn't a full tile. Swear to God if that shade comes after me. Okay, you can tell me. I'll die without weapons. Uh, resourceful enough to get steel weapons. Uh, what have they been up against? Uh, you're not from around here. They've been up against Draken. Draken. Uh, Lord Lower Neil Draken, leader of the vampires and ruler of Mauritania. I I might I I I might actually like someone to come in here and fucking fight anything that comes relatively close to me. <laughs> Do any brave souls want to do that? Just come here and beat the shit out of the afflicted and and the lore shades for a bit. <laughs> what, what fucking world am I on? I'm in world 346. <laughs> I encourage you to get their asses. I just want to talk to this guy. I just want to talk to Paddlehorn over here. If any goons are out there, I'm sounding the horn. This awful swamp. This miserable swamp. <laughs> it's not even that big of a deal normally. It's just right now I'm trying to talk to a guy. <laughs> uh, his reign over these lands means we all live in fear. Uh, what kind of loss and heartache have they suffered? Tell me about Sani Piliu. If you don't tell me, their deaths are on your head. There's death aplenty in this forsaken place. What do I care if some foolhardy vigilantes decided to go it alone against the dragons? Stupidity of youth is to blame. I won't carry it on my shoulders. Uh... I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Don't do it. Don't you do it. I'm actually going to cry. I'm actually going to cry. <laughs> Why? Why did they make it like this? <laughs> Why did they not make this area safe <laughs> to do the quest? And now the lore shade appears. This is genuinely and I do not mean this with any hyperbole. I think this is genuinely the worst time I've ever had playing old school RuneScape. Like... Did you enjoy playing old school RuneScape today? No. Actually. <laughs> not right now! <laughs> this fucking guy. All of these fucking guys. This is the worst it's ever been. This is probably the worst it's ever going to be. Uh... Yes, World 346. I'm being griefed by the fucking video game! Like, they put this quest NPC in the area where there are some enemies that have infinite aggro range. And they chase you forever! <laughs> oh, thank god someone's appeared, you're my hero! <laughs> You're- you're the hero of this stream! You're the protagonist of this stream! I gotta go back to talking to this motherfucker! Thank you! <laughs> Alright, hurry it up! I got weapons! I got weapons! <laughs> Resourceful enough to get their own steel! <laughs> what kind of losses have they suffered? <laughs> Hurry it up! Oh, even with these like two or three people out here, I somehow don't trust that that's enough! Uh, I, I turned like public chat off just because I don't want like brandos to maybe say slurs or whatever, but in case you people here are trying to say things at me, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, the deaths are on your head. Okay, now now that the fucking goon- Oh, never mind, people can talk. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Respect. Um... One man's vigilante is another man's freedom fighter. 
You can see it from both sides, I suppose, but many of us consider it foolhardy to fight for something we'll never get. I remember a conversation I had with Paul Maffey, a scholar such as he was. Even he agrees that the chances are swim. S swim? Slim. Yo, the fucking push-ups clown is here! Respect! Paul Maffey? Who's he? Paul Maffey, uh, for degree, is one of the Myrique. He's a technical sort and advises on all sorts of things to Valief. He was a scholar before he became a renegade. Uh, what do you know about the dragons? They're the family that leads the vampires. They're the ones to whom the blood ties are paid. Too much I have told you already. Ignorance is better than the truths I tell you. I can pretend once more that I am a free man and some relief from this gloom can I feel again. Be gone with you now from my dreams! Uh, why do you say this place is forsaken? I can actually listen to all the other dialogue now because of the bravest warriors of all time out here defending me. <laughs> Wait, this person already has the fucking... The, the, the obsidian sword things from the new dungeon. That's awesome. Yo, shoutouts to Cheesy X for having those already. That's cool. All these lands are forsaken of Saradoman's kindness. Only cold death from evil do we now feel. Those lucky ones to the west of the Sav little realize their fate if the river should one day become tainted. Uh, what kind of a man are you to say that you don't care? I don't- I don't- I never remember how you pronounce, uh... I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here and say Makahutl. That's not right at all. I'm gonna look that up. Let's see. Uh... How do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce that? Uh... Is there a pronunciation guide that I can trust? Anywhere. Um, there's a YouTube video, but I don't know if I trust that. Um, let's see. IPA. M Maka Whitla? I'm, I'm so bad at reading IPA. Maka Whitla? Pulling up a random video and seeing if it's right. Thank you, pronunciation guide on YouTube. Let's see if you're right or not. It's the video <laughs> won't load. That's even funnier. <laughs> this awful sidetrack while I hope that no one attacks me. You are looking at Julian's pronunciation guide. Looking at how to pronounce these words as well as how to say more in What the fuck is with this dude's voice? Let's go? Interesting, but often confusing words and names, including from Nawak. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel if you enjoy learning. Makwawit. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheesy X has the Makwawit. I did literally pronounced it wrong after pronouncing it right kind of once. <laughs> Well, thank you for listening to me make a fool of myself as I try to learn. <laughs> Pronunciation is fun. Don't dare to judge me, young fool. What do you know of the heartache I carry? I want to help them. I did help them. But my part is done now. To do any more is to risk death. You're risking death either way. Better to risk it and help the cause than to stand by and do nothing. Hmm. Very well. If you would take your chances to help these strangers, who am I to stop you? Was that Dracula teaching you how to pronounce the guy's name? I think he was French. <laughs> so you'll help me? Will you take me to them? No. I won't take you, but you can use my boat. You'll be going through Mort Meyer, though, so I won't be letting you go unless you got some defense against the ghasts. I have to go fill my druid pouch. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna have to run out and back again, so please... Please, my brave, my brave helpers, stay there until I come back! <laughs> because I'm gonna have to talk to him again! <laughs> okay, I can't be mad. That's actually really goddamn funny. <laughs> the music! I forgot it plays this fucking 
like, oops, you fucked up type music when you get here. <sighs> I take back everything I said about this being the worst time I've ever had in old school RuneScape. I don't take that back, actually, but it has just swung around to being really good again. <laughs> They fucking owned me! <laughs> they owned me! <laughs> you got a 1 in 178 and 1 in 237 herb in the time you've been here? Let's go! Let's go! I'm your good luck charm? It's working? It's actually working? Now we get to go through the ghoul core swamp. Wait, no, these, these ones drop the mushrooms. Hang on. Okay, I have to unequip it, right? No, I can just use bloom. There we go. Ooh! All right, it's fill druid pouch. Oh, I need three to add. Hang on. Well, let's get more. Oh, it spoiled one of my mushrooms, I guess. Or I didn't pick it or something. There we go. I've got three and I'm gonna hope that's enough. It wasn't enough. Immediately one got got. Let's go back and get more, actually. Let's play it safe. Let's play it cool. This is gonna be happening to me. I should probably actually be prepared. <laughs> What's up, Holly? I just spent an hour and a half turning my main pawn into an ant before Dragon Storm number two is even out. Let's go. How do you. <laughs> an ant? <laughs> awesome! Thank you, uh, Voyager Witch, for that reset. Much appreciated. I fucking forgot Dragon's Dog 2 is like. Out or about to be out, isn't it? How do you become a damn ant in that game? Confession, you know next to nothing about RuneScape. Good news, we're learning together. I, like, basically never did any of the member stuff in my entire life. So a lot of this is new to me, too. Like this quest, which I've had to, like... <laughs> Monster Hunter World's SOS flare to get through because of the NPCs aggroing me. Yeah, I feel that, Rex. It's like... I couldn't even run this damn game on my computer anyways because of the, the requirements for it, but like... That shit's $95 before taxes for the base edition. I'm not... I'm not buying that anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> no. The slow crawl back when I get my run energy up again. I should put on the cape so that I get more run energy faster. 95? Yes. 95. Dollars. That's how much that shit costs now. Hang on, is this one single lore shade still aggroed on me? You dickhead! Get out of my life! <laughs> yes, get stuck! Nothing will happen! Dude, it's going to feel so cathartic to come back here later and finish this Slayer quest. Or not a quest, just a task. It's gonna feel so good. When I can come here and just go hog wild on him. Suffered the Canuck tax because you've been waiting for this game for a decade. Yeah, respect. This motherfucker Gondam styling! Hang on, hang on! Where is it? Where is it? Where the fuck is Crazy Dance? Post your OXEs in chat right now.
Let's go. Okay, well, time to talk to this motherfucker again. I can use your boat. I've got a drip pouch. This turns the ghasts visible and I can kill them once I can see them. Very well, you can go. But you'll need to bring me six wooden planks first. What for? The boat took some damage on my last trip. Uh, it needs repairing. There's also a bridge you'll need to cross later in your journey. It's rotten and will likely need repairs. Three of the planks are for the boat and three are for the bridge. I suggest you bring some tools and steel nails along as well. Okay, this is not that big a deal. Let's teleport to Lumbee. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of an, okay, that's fair. I'll go get things. Uh, I, I saw that coming. Yo, this person's swinging for 20s. Let's go. I, I think I got a max hit of like 11 or 12 with a spell recently and I pogged out of my gourd. In that moment, I was the pog champion. Okay. I'll run a little bit. I'll get some of my energy. Do I have planks already? Uh, I have five. Okay, and they said tools. Um, do I have steel? I have mithril nails, I have iron nails. Uh, I guess I have to specifically make steel nails? Okay, so let's get a saw just in case, because you often need a saw for construction. Hey, someone just leveled up. Congrats. Um, where did I put my steel bars again? Under here. Let's make a couple of those. Let's get a... Wait, I just have a lumberyard teleport. Yo, I come back home from the burger store and everybody is posting off to see how you... <laughs> Yeah, I was doing crazy dance. Hang on. Um, I didn't bring money. You need to pay this guy to get lot to get saw to get to get planks. I didn't bring any money. <laughs> this quest is going really good. This quest is going awesome. <laughs> Let's go get money. Thank you, Combo Winter. For the resub, much appreciated. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I am doing In Search of the Myreek, uh, which has been neat, except for the part where a bunch of it is set in the area with guys that have, like, infinite aggro range and hate me forever. So I had to call in, like, the goon squad. I had to put out the SOS flare <laughs> to get people to beat their asses instead of mine. I don't remember, do you need to give this guy a log to get planks out of it, or is it just money? I've got... got a little bit of money. I gotta put one of these away just so I have space, just to be... just to be... just to be sure. I'm... I'm not actually asking in the chat. Assume it's... Ass, assume it's, uh... <laughs> rhetorical, unless I say, hey chat, does anyone know? This, this this is not a big fucking deal, because I'm running there with that shit anyways, but, uh, just for future reference, I suppose. Alright, let's get our damn log. Hey, man. Give me plank. Thanks. I'm about to run out of run energy, so I gotta walk all the way back. <laughs> Back from Aaron's, how goes it? Great! <laughs> I'm definitely loving this quest! Thank you, Noelvanius, for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream today. Uh, I'm, I'm appreciative of the folks that have come around to help me by blowing up ghouls. I can't believe the audacity of putting this quest in Morton, or putting any quest in Morton. Just straight up really mean design. <laughs> oh, there's an animal up here, right. I can use this one. Yo, taxi! 
Even the 46! Much appreciated. I hope you're doing well. Uh, nails. Let's make sure I make the right thing. So how's everyone doing? Uh, while I'm just gonna be out here making nails and stuff for a little bit. <laughs> uh, how, how, how you doing? How's your day been? Tell me about it. Yo, this dude's shield is awesome. And- Oh my- What? Bird took them! <laughs> I haven't seen that animation yet! That's awesome! <laughs> they just added that shit today! That was great! <laughs> uh, you shit the bed at Dead by Daylight before work? Oh no. I hope you cleaned up. Okay. I'm I'm going to assume that this many bars worth of uh nails is enough. Day's been slow? Dang. Uh unless that's good, in which case, yay! Sometimes a slow day is a nice one. I know I've certainly been more appreciative of slow days in the past couple of days. I played the Splatoon challenge today. Oh shit, what's the challenge today? I have not uh, done much Splatooning in a while aside from uh, binging a bunch of side order. <laughs> when, whenever Puzz has a free moment for streams again, I'm excited to do the, the, the last little bit of that. I ended up doing every single weapon getting a clear except for the last one you unlock. Um. And I had, like, put this damn herb away. I had, like, taken screenshots of, like, every single story bit just so that we could, like, do, like, a radio play version of that whenever we had the time to stream it again. Uh, so that'll be fun eventually. Let's take more lobsters with us so I have more healing again. Uh, but, but other than side order making me go, like, oh, yeah, Splatoon's fucking fun. That game's awesome. Um... I haven't really touched it in a while. Shades of Morton. Let's go back. Wait, wait, before I do, let's just double check. I've got six planks. I've got nails. I've got the tools. I should give them to the boatman. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> if, if I gotta go back, oh well. I can respect it. <laughs> they didn't tell me. I'm not looking it up. But I've got all the shit they've told me so far, so... Okay. Immediately two of these fuckers make a beeline for me! The, <laughs> the rudest area! In all of Mauritania! The rudest single area in all of Mauritania! <laughs> Thank you, my psionic warriors! <laughs> You, you are the heroes by which today's stream is possible. <laughs> Could not do it without my goon squad. <laughs> I'm glad people watch my stream that are, like, good at this game. So will you take me to the Myreek? Nope. But I can use the boat. I've got the pouch. I've got planks. Uh, here are some planks for you. Uh, thank you. Right. You can take the boat. Just jump in when you're ready to leave. They hate quests today. They hate quests anywhere in this area. Doing Shades of Morton on my own time. I had to hop worlds multiple times to find worlds where no one else was in this area so that I could close the door and talk to the NPC you have to talk to. The problem with that is that if you're on a populated world, that NPC is also like a general store that gives you supplies for the mini game that you unlock by beating this quest. So if anyone else is around, they're going to keep opening the door because they need to talk to the guy to do the mini game. 
<laughs> so I had to find somewhere where no one was <laughs> so that I could run in, lock the fucking door, give this zombie man a single suck of potion so that he could talk to me like a human again. <laughs> <laughs> There's no door here. <laughs> All right, I can take the boat. Go as far north as you can and you'll arrive at the hollows. Keep heading north on foot over the rotten bridge and you'll eventually reach an odd looking tree. This is where you'll find the Myreek. Let's board Swamp. Swamp Bodhi. I'm so fucking glad I brought my money with me. I'm so fucking glad I brought my money with me. <laughs> in in the back of my head, I was like, okay, there's a chance I might need money for something soon. I'm gonna bring my money with me. I'm glad I brought my money with me. <laughs> Lemmy and Swamp Bodhi. Swamp Bodhi theme goes off. Okay, here we are. We're at the hollows. Run north? Okay, I do see it up there. That's good. Finished reading Dungeon Meshi this morning. Let's go. I fucking love Dungeon Meshi. Okay, repair bridge. A wooden plank, a hammer, and 75 steel nails to repair each section of the bridge. Okay. I honestly can't even be mad. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> That's kind of really fucking funny, actually. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. <laughs> I think I can just walk out? <laughs> oh man, 25 nails per, huh? Okay. <laughs> I think I have enough... Actually, do I have enough steel bars? I have enough iron and coal to make steel bars. You thought it was 75 nails per? It is. It is 75 per. <laughs> I had over 100. I thought, certainly they won't need that many. Okay, that- that- that bit where you need a shit ton of nails, I can't be mad. That's kind of really fucking funny. You know what I am genuinely kind of upset about? You don't get construction XP for it. You don't get construction or crafting XP for it. They could have literally just given me like five and I would have been like, yep. That's fine. This stuff all predated the construction skill. They should go back and fix it. They should change it. If they can go and do whatever it is they evidently did in the 2020s to Shades of Morton the minigame to make it better in some way or another. Because, like, I like the minigame. It's a fun minigame. I went to, like, the little old school museum they have under the party room. And one of the, like, plaques they had was that there was an update that they did Two Shades of Morton. If they can do that, surely they can change the bridge to make it give you five construction XP. <laughs> or crafting. Smile. <laughs> I just think it would be cuteness. You know? Her cuteness would rejuvenate me. I gotta walk all the way back because my run energy. <laughs> I 
That's a cute way to put it. RuneScape is the cute video game! There's so many cute little interactions! There's like an entire mini game that's like you go on a shitty boat and it's like full of holes and you have to just pump all the holes full of swamp tar. And then you like go up on the top of the boat and sometimes a kraken appears and you hack it apart with your woodcutting axe. It's adorable! It's so cute! It's like one of the older mini games in the game from like original ass RuneScape 1, I think. And it's, it's there in all of its glory. So many people hate it! I love it! It's great! <laughs> I'm the fishing trawler pervert! RuneScape is the doom cute of old games? A little bit, yeah! <laughs> it kind of is! <laughs> like, I, 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 I'm hemming and hawing about the fucking, like, the goons that appear in Morton to attack me when I'm trying to talk to a guy. I genuinely hate that! Everything else about this has just been cute. <laughs> Even if it's kind of a mean cute, that's the one part that isn't the cute mean to me. Someone put all these delicious teak logs out here. And they're gone. Hi, Puzz. Hi, Han. Thank you for the resub. I love you. Alright, more nails, please. Mmm, yummy. I'll take a big bite. Okay. That's 75. Each one gives five, or fifteen. So I need four more bars. So let's walk all the way over to Edgeville. Because there's a furnace there. <laughs> I used to be so scared of Edgeville as a kid that I didn't even want to walk there. Because the thought of it just being close to the wilderness at all just made me go like... But what if there's a glitch and a guy comes out of there and kills me? That would honestly be suck. You've been watching tons of tornado videos and that's all you think of when I say cape. Right, isn't cape like a... A nautical term of some sort? Specifically related to like, land... Masses in some way or another? What if a pibby is there? Right, yeah! What if there's some kind of pibby glitch? I need to stop saying pibby glitch. I'm saying it too much. I'm saying it in like work meetings with people. <laughs> it's actually a problem. I, and I can't stop myself. One might say it's some sort of glitch causing it. All right. I forgot all of the people here at the Grand Exchange advertising the gold that they're selling for real money. <laughs> I forgot that's a thing here. I never come here because I can't buy anything. I'm an Iron Man. It's a little funny. Pause, hun. I love you very much. I'm glad you're in my corner, but I feel like perhaps you're a little biased here. <laughs> sat down and watched tornado videos. Um, I've seen Twister, the, the, the movie Twister. <laughs> and you know, now that I say that out loud, I'm like, that's a hell of a thing to say, isn't it? What am I doing? I have a coal bag. Okay, so I need... Uh... More iron. Let's see. Oh, I. There we go. Fill coal bag, which I can do from the bank, thank God. Um, Twister, the movie Twister, which is about like they're they're chasing a storm and they have to unleash um Dorothy from. I almost said from Breaking Bad. No, from from Wizard of Oz into the tornado. Um, there's like a scene where they eat big steak for, for breakfast. They have big meal. Um, I don't remember who's in it. They made us watch it in um, elementary school in like grade four or five, I think. Uh, 
the, th the slow walk. No, I have full run energy, okay. The the fast run back. What am I doing? I can I can use I can use Varrock teleport! I have teleports now! <laughs> um I I literally don't remember any of that fucking movie. So I guess I really haven't sat down and watched tornadoes. Um Maybe some think this is wasteful to use a teleport to get, like, literally just around the corner, but... I can do room crafting. It's experience points. It's efficient. My efficiency. My minigame teleport's not done, so I gotta, gotta walk back. They hid under a bridge to get away from a tornado and twister? That sounds... Like, bad. That sounds not a good idea. To do that one. Why'd they do that? Most of the videos I've been watching lately have been like... Um... What I can only describe of as like old man food videos. Hang on, this guy's name is Lethal Pan? Let's go? Either they're pansexual or they're a TF2 player. Or maybe a third thing I didn't think of. Either way, respect. But I've been watching a lot of videos of, like, old people doing food on YouTube in one way or another. And sometimes that's those, like, um... Those, like, long videos of, like, yeah, here's, like, an udon place in Japan, and here's, like, a 30-minute to, to an hour, like, recording of just, like, a day in the life. Uh, and sometimes it's Jerry Fort, the beer review guy, a.k.a. He was just an old dude on YouTube reviewing, like, a bag of chips that he got from the store and just being like, Yeah, I got this bag of chips. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Nothing wrong with it, so I give it a five. I, I love looking at, like, videos that YouTube is like, You should watch this. We want you to watch this. Do you want to look at this? And I say, No, don't ever show me this channel again to, like, 90% of them. So it's mostly just giving me, like, 10 to 15 view, um, like, old people on YouTube just being like, Hey, here's my dinner. That's the good shit. Been watching those Japanese restaurant videos every night. They're good! They're good stuff. Literally, sometimes, if I'm just, like, doing something AFK in RuneScape, like, uh, like, mining or something, I'll just, like, pull up one of those videos and watch it in my main monitor tab back every now and then to make sure that I'm still mining. That's good stuff. Enter the swamp. Those, those street food type vids are fun too. Let's, um, while we're here, stock up on some more... Hey man. I'm gonna use Bloom and get some more of these. And then fight you, I guess. Dude, look at the face on this guy. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna make a bad decision and tab out. Um, and hopefully not die when I do it. Oh, this is Baby Puppy. I can replace Baby Puppy. Um, I took some really good pictures when I was doing some Slayer the other day uh, of the Banshee enemy in this video game. Fucking look at this guy. Look at this guy. This is great! Uh, and I took a second picture. Oh. 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 Um, so there is a very funny story about the Banshees that is maybe going to be a really, really fucking funny story if you know anything about, like, normal OSRS account progression. Um, 
I was doing a bunch of low-level slayers because I was like, oh, what the hell? Why not? It's a thing I can do when I don't want to stream quests. Um, and so I got uh, the, the the quest to do banshees, and I was like, oh, that's that's ghosts. I'm trying to level up prayer because my account is like relatively low level, and these guys don't drop like any bones or anything. Um, and then I looked it up, and I was like, oh yeah, you can like. There's a thing that you can get from doing, um, from, from, from doing Soul Wars, where when you have it, um, when you kill, like, a ghost enemy, it gives you prayer experience. And so I was like, oh, that could be fun to get some, like, you know, early EXP for the account. Uh, when I'm, like, you know, in need of, like, literally any source of prayer. So, so why not go and do that? And so I took this entire long detour um, to grind out this PvP mode um, that I ended up thinking was alright because it's like a PvP VE thing where like there's also like enemies you can fight and you can heal your teammates and stuff. Uh, it was okay. It was not bad. Shoutouts to the brave hero of the swamp killing all snails. Uh, these things could bite me so bad and I would get scared. I didn't craft these into nails. I forgot. That's really funny, actually. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I can't even be mad. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, anyways. Chad is like, oh no, oh you messed up, you don't understand, this is awesome! <laughs> this is maybe the funniest fucking thing I've ever done in this video game! I got myself so good! You have to admit! <laughs> you do have to! <laughs> At this point I'm just tricking, I'm just trolling myself! That's great! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I was like, okay, um, oh, don't worry, Massey Moment, I'm getting to it. I was like, okay, so let's just play a bunch of Soul Wars. You need like 400 or whatever points from it to, uh, to, to buy the Ectoplasmator, the reward that lets you get prayer XP from killing ghosts. So I do a few rounds, I get kind of a zen from it. Um, and that was nice. I learned how it worked. I learned a lot of how you can help your teammates, even when your combat level is uh, much lower than this. I think I was all like maybe 20s at most, maybe a 30 uh, for like attack. So it was largely just like sometimes I would kill a, uh, a ghost and mostly I would run around with a lot of band-aids and help out my teammates to get points, which hey, if I'm keeping the people that are alive alive, that have stats and can do damage, if I'm helping Overwatch's famous killers, uh, then we get to win the match, you know? Uh, so I did that, and I got my points, and I'm like, alright. It was a couple hours, I got to learn how this game mode works, I dipped my toes into PvP for the first time, I got a couple of kills against other jobbers at my level, and that was fun. Uh, it was, it was, it was like the League of New Wrestlers. <laughs> Coming, coming to grips with one another, and that was neat. Um, oh, my mini game teleport is done, so I can go and just take that to the boat now. It'll be ten gold, but that's fine. Uh, I, I have, I have a couple. Uh, so, so I do that for like a couple hours over maybe a couple days. I don't remember, and it's like, oh man, that was a really fun diversion. That was neat that I did that. All right, well, it's time to pick up this item, and then it's time to go out and do my my banshees quest. And it turns out you can't buy the Ectoplasmator until you have 40 prayer. I think I had 20 something. <laughs> um, and I was talking about this with like some friends and some folks in like uh in chess's clan shout out to chess i can do a fucking uh shout out here on on 
uh, on, on, on Twitch. It's just video chess, right? Yeah, it's just video chess. Go check chess out. She's awesome. Um, I mean, I'm in her RuneScape clan. Because there's a lot of iron men and iron women who like playing this video game in weird ways like I do. So, you know, good company. Like-minded people. <laughs> As evidenced by this entire story I'm telling about the ectoplasmator. Um, so, I'm like, alright, well I can't get this because it has a prayer requirement. And a couple people are like, oh, I didn't know it had a prayer requirement. I forgot. Most people only do Soul Wars when they're much, much higher level. <laughs> and I was just kind of sitting there thinking about how low my level was compared to everyone else. And it was just like, yep, I noticed. <laughs> I, I had a bit of a feeling seeing my opponents. Um, so then it's like, well, what do I do for prayer? Well, I've got some bones in my bank. It's time to bring those to the Chaos Altar in the Wilderness. And so I do that a couple of times, and it's like, alright, cool. Uh, this is pretty, pretty fucking good prayer XP, actually. This is awesome. Um, and no one seems to care that, like, a low-level jobber like me is around. I'm, I'm, I'm peanuts to the PKers. I have nothing for them. I have nothing for them. They're, they're not gonna want to take little Omiya. I'm an Iron Woman, and all I have is, like, a couple bones and, like... My, my, my graceful on, and I have protect item on, so I don't lose any of them. Um, and then I got PK'd for the first time ever. Uh, <laughs> I, for literally the first time ever playing RuneScape, in like my years on and off of playing it, my first time I ever got killed by another player in the wilderness. Convinced OSRS is a game for psychopaths? That's, that's a bit of a mean and loaded worm... W worm? Word. And I'd, I'd ask you to say something else. <laughs> it's a game for perverts, that's for sure. Uh... Anyways, so I die in the wilderness, and I'm genuinely so excited in the moment... Um... That I'm just like, oh my god, this is the first time it's ever happening to me. This is so awesome, I'm actually so happy. Um... I lost literally just one single normal bone. I lost one single normal bone to the to the PKer, which I have to wonder what they thought. Seeing, oh okay, here's this person that I get the drop on. I'm gonna teleblock them and freeze them in place. I'm gonna kill them and take their stuff. And all I say in chat in response to them is just, bye. <laughs> and they kill me and they take my one bone and they get like what? 16 prayer XP out of it? <laughs> and I have to wonder if they were sitting there thinking, man, I really gave that person what for? Or if they were just sitting there and thinking like, what? What was that for? <laughs> yeah, I guess they got two bones because also they got the bones from my body, huh? Um, So that happens and I'm like, well, all right, the Chaos Altar is no longer free, and also normal bones aren't really cutting it. What do I fucking do? Um, and so I went, and I was like, well, big bones are more than normal bones. I can kill things that give big bones. Um, what gives big bones? Well, moss giants drop big bones. Uh, so I went and I killed uh, 275 moss giants. <laughs> Loot from 275 moss giants, by the way. I got my first ever uh, long bone. Got a long bone drop. Got a single mossy key drop. Uh, quite a few herbs and seeds, which uh, I, you know, planted some of those. Uh, was like, well, what the hell? I might as well use this to train up all of my combat styles. And now I have 40 in all of them. <laughs> And now I have 40 in all of them. <laughs> Only one mossy key, yeah. Um, got a bunch of heads and sold heads and was like, wait, you can use those to get prayer experience too. 
And so I learned that it's just free and easy to get the, uh, the, the RC spellbook now. Um. <laughs> and so I just killed a bunch of the head boys and got a shit ton of prayer XP and then was like, well, I don't want to risk losing my big bones after all that time I spent, uh, you know, getting my big bones. <laughs> so I don't want to go to the Chaos Altar. Oh no, I can't even get Thralls yet, because I don't have that quest for it. So it, it's literally just, like, some teleports and insold heads. Um... Is, is what that, that spellbook is for me. Let's get on Swampy. Let's get on old Swampy here, Swamp Bodie. Yes, yes, take my gold. Let me go, let me go, I'm out! I'm free. Wait, I heard an attack sound. Please don't tell me that interrupted Swamp Bodhi. I'm free! Let's fucking go. I've never been punished in my entire life. Anyways, what was I saying? So, I'm like, well, what else can I do with these bones? Farlamore is adding a prayer thing, but that's not out yet. Um, and so I remember the Ectophuntus. And I'm like, oh shit, the Ectophuntus has pretty good rates. EXP wise. I should do the Ectophuntus. And so I go and I do the Ectophuntus for a while. And I do Ghosts Ahoy while I'm there, so that, like, you know, it's more convenient to get to the Ectophuntus and then to the bank nearby. Um And so I do Ectophuntus for a while. And I finally hit 40 prayer. Um and I'm like, alright, finally, at this point, it wasn't even really worth it to go all that way for a pittance of prayer XP from the Banshees, because I ended up getting myself to 40 anyways, but I was so chuffed at this entire long distraction that I put myself through of my own volition that I was just like, actually, no, this was the right way to do it. There was never any other way it could have been, and now I can be optimal any time I have to fight ghosts. These guys notwithstanding, because I wasn't expecting to actually fight them. Um, so I go to my my Slayer task, and I'm like, okay, Banshees. These are probably going to be, like, a pretty tough fight. I've never seen this monster before. It's a Slayer monster, so it's probably a little higher level on average than the, like, the normal things I usually go and kick the asses of. I go to the Slayer Tower. They're very low level. Uh, I think they were maybe giving me like three or four prayer experience a pop with the ecto with the <laughs> with the ectoplasmator, and I was genuinely sitting there just like, man, they're right when they say that it's not the journey or it's not the destination. It really is the journey. <laughs> Immediately after I finish that task, I get a task for Shades, aka the enemies in Shades of Morton, which are also ghosts. So not only does the Ectoplasmator give you prayer from that, but putting them on the funeral pyres gives you more prayer experience. So I feel vindicated. I did the right thing for me. <laughs> And I'm being rewarded for it. Non-stop. <laughs> Good things come to me. And also I did get a collection log slot. And a couple other collection log slots because of other shit enemies dropped. I- hang on, hang on. I literally, from the Banshees, I killed like 80 of these things within killing five of them. Within my first five kills. Hang on, how do I- I hit it. How do I unhide it? There. Mystic Gloves Dark. Within my first five kills of them, the rare drop. <laughs> Rewarded. Rewarded. I always win, and that's why it's okay that I forgot to make my mails for the bridge! <laughs> I've never been punished in my entire life. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Oh, I've come to help the Myreek. I've brought weapons. Okay, I see you got some weapons. But here's the thing. These guys out there, they don't want to be found. They paid me good money to keep them hidden. Now, you seems all sincered up to me. 
it's choking me right up here. But hey, I just gotta do my job or the kids don't get fed. But I just want to deliver these weapons. Okay, I just got an idea. Say I asks you a few questions and you answer them all correct and so on. Well, that'd make me trust you. How's that sound? Sounds fine to me. <laughs> Oh no, you forgot the nails, now you get to play more RuneScape? That's literally how this entire sequence of events leading up to a fucking Banshee's Slayer task felt to me. It was like, oh, I've got to take out these Banshees? It's time to explore four or five entire different chunks of the game I've barely touched instead. And then I can eat, and then I can eat my peas. Hey, don't tempt me. Use dicing with death here, my friend. First question, who's the leader of the Myrique and Mortmire? I don't remember. I've, I've, I, the boatman has talked to me about all these things. I feel no shame in just looking this up on the wiki really quick. <laughs> okay. The leader of the Myrique is, uh... Veliath hurts. Interesting answer. That's the first question done. Which member of the Myrique was originally a scholar? That was Radigad Ponfi, right? No, it was Pulmafi Fertigree. Delta P inner monologue. What the fuck is a Delta P? Is that a RuneScape? I'm playing RuneScape. It's the second question answered. Who is the youngest member of the Myreek? Uh, Ivan Strom. Very interesting. That's the third question answered. Okay, I believe you. You can go in. Head through the doors behind the tree. Once you use in, take the first cave on the right. Wait, did that not... Did that not count because the gas aggroed on me? What? Oh, it's the wooden doors. Okay. <laughs> I thought I had to go in the tree. <laughs> okay. Once you're in, it's the first cave on the right. I see beds over there. Damn, I wonder how I get through this wall. I don't find anything of note. Hey! Go oh, in the right way. Oh, I see. There. Oh, first on the right. There's caves on the walls. Okay. It's not this one, is it? No, that was the fucking entrance. I'm a fool! So it is this one. Okay. I did it. <laughs> the most difficult quest in the history of old-school RuneScape. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I wasn't inclined to do that, because I was like, well, I've gone through all the boatman's dialogue, and he's literally told me the names of all the people. I've seen all of it. I'm just gonna look them up because I my brain is full of holes and I didn't write these down. <laughs> I probably should I I knew they were gonna come up somehow, somewhere, but I did not think to write any of this down. I gotta start doing that. <laughs> Thank you, Cheesy X, for the reset. Much appreciated. Your seven-month-old kitten is intently watching this stream? Let's fucking go? I love it when cats watch my stream. I didn't shout out your resub because it happened when I was under fucking attack. But thank you, Selkie Mates, for the resub. I appreciate it. I gotta go on break. 
It's break time! Get up and have a stretch! I'll be right back! Okay, I'm back. Hey, shoutouts to the people going to bed. Going to bed's fucking awesome. I don't have any follow-up to that. I thought I would. And then I was just sitting here like, what else could I say? Nothing, I suppose. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna keep playing too too late but i want to keep going i'm having fun i didn't realize the stream was gonna be so fucking frantic i was just sitting here thinking like man i'm gonna have a good time getting through some old quests it's gonna be a nice chill time real laid back real easy breezy listening type of stream um they got my ass so good i have to admit i really do have to admit <laughs> thank you cactus fantastica for the 15 month resub very much appreciated Let's get back to it. <laughs> Who are you and why are you here? Oh, buddy, you don't want to know. You do not want to know the night I have had. It's okay, I'm a friend. I'm here to deliver weapons to you. Weapons? You better talk to Veliaf then. I'm keeping an eye on you, though, so don't you go trying anything. Uh, thank you, Smallest Turtle, for the 15-month reset. Much appreciated. Thank you for all the subs and tips and stuff tonight. Uh, I've, I've not, I've not gone through the whole spiel of like, hey, you know, support the channel. It's appreciated. Uh, but I appreciate what folks are, are coming through with all the same. 
Thank you, Void Dragon Nova, for the 35 month resub. Very much appreciated. Uh, we gotta talk to this guy. Your name is Hertz. Hello there. You, I saw you come in. Harold didn't kill you, though, so I'm guessing you're no enemy. Who are you? <laughs> I'm I'm RTVS Holly. I'm famous Holly from Half-Life. You may have heard of me from Dr. Cumster. Don't worry, I'm a friend. I was asked to bring you some weapons. It's true that we could do with some supplies. Thank you for bringing them here. I'll have a proper look over them in a moment, but there's something I must finish first. Feel free to introduce yourself to the others in the meantime. Okay! Hello, very nice to meet you. The name's Sani Pilyu. What's yours? I'm Holly. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Got a good feeling about you. I reckon you're gonna do great things for us. You have a powerful aura. <laughs> Sorry, that must seem really weird. <laughs> uh, maybe a little. It's nice of you to say so in any case. I'd like to ask a few questions if that's okay. Sure, go ahead. All right, we have mandatory learn about all of the members time. We, you've gone through all of that trouble getting here, and now the sweet, sweet reward inside of the clamshell is yours. Enjoy the delicious meat of talking to these NPCs. This one that smells your aura. Tell me about yourself. There's not much to tell, really. I was nine years old when my family was ripped to pieces by a vampire. One moment I was a happy member of a loving family, the next I was an orphan living a hand-to-mouth existence. Somehow I managed to get by, eking out a living wherever I could. People took pity on me, and I earned food by helping them out. I quickly found I had a very useful set of skills, and there were plenty of people willing to pay for them. I bumped into Veliaf and Canifis. He saw that I'd be an asset to the Myrique and invited me to join. I said yes, of course. Couldn't turn down the chance to fight against those who took away my family. What can you tell me about the Myrique? Well, Veliaf's the leader of our group. We're not the only ones in Mauritania, though. Veliaf reports to someone called... Calcidiu, who's in charge of all the Myrique. Never met any of the others, though. Our hope is to one day bring an end to the reign of... Lower Neil Dracon and his vampires. They're putting some good ass names in front of me, and I'm like taken back every time I see one, like, oh shit, I gotta read that. That's awesome. For now, though, we're just trying to find any weaknesses we can take advantage of. We need to know how to kill them before we take the, the war to them. You make it sound easy. I mean, it was pretty easy when I did it. I just kind of had to walk up and eat a lot of steaks and stab them a lot. With determination, you can achieve great things. You sure can! I achieved this quest! <laughs> However, Veliaf always tells us not to underestimate the enemy. I've made the mistake before. I won't be making it again. What's going on in Mauritania? What news from the other provinces? The entire region is ruled over by Lower Neil Draken and his family. They, they've got a Lesser Neil taking care of the entire province. This fell Neil, yeah. <laughs> a fell and fetid Neil has taken over Mauritania. And he's not even like a greater Neil. Everyone living here must pay blood tithes to the vampires. The tithes keep the vampires fed and ensure the people are too weak to oppose them. This is a Neil that sucks, plus he doesn't have depression. That's where we come in. We won't just offer our family members to the Drakens as a weekly snack. We're gonna fight back! Is this your main camp? You guys live- you, you guys live like this? It's our only camp! At least for our group. I know there's more Myrique in other parts of Mauritania, but I don't know exactly where. Okay, thanks. Uh, let's talk to Ivan Strom over here. This dude's awesome hat. This dude's awesome hood. This this is Link Breath of the Wild. This is the hero of Hyrule, and he's gonna jump on a pony any second now. If Eliaf said I should introduce myself to anyone. Okay, well, my name's Ivan. It's nice to meet you. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? 
Pets! That's fine. I don't know how much I can help, though. What are you doing here? Me personally? Oh, I shouldn't be here, really. I'm training to be a priest, and I was meant to travel to Pater Dormus to learn from Drezzle. The trip's too dangerous at the moment, though. I think when I was doing Priest in Peril, Drezzle maybe mentioned Ivanstrom, and I was trying to remember if I remembered that right last time I just went and talked to that NPC, and he didn't have anything else to say. <laughs> so... Is it really important for you to train as a priest? I'd have thought there'd be more pressing issues. Well, Veliaf thinks it'd be useful to have a priest to advise him. I think he also wants me further away from harm until I'm more experienced. That outfit looks like it should have long sleeves. There's quite a few RuneScape outfits that do seem like they ought to have big sleeves and don't. There's a charm to it. There's a charm to it. Like... My, my fucking outfit here with, like, the normal-ass sleeves poking through, they honestly look like they ought to be bigger. They're not, but they look like they ought to be. Uh, tell me about the Myrik. We're the only ones brave enough to put up a fight against the Drakens. I'm proud to be one of them. I do worry I might let the others down, though. I'm not as skilled as they are. See? <laughs> Neil is the guy that sucks, plus Ivan has depression. Oh no! They, they sucked his blood, but not his sadness. That's so sad. What do you know about Mauritania? It's a lost land. The evil Draken family rule all the region. People cling to each other in fear when the blood tithes are to be paid. It's horrible. It won't be like this forever, though. The Myrik will bring light back to this dark place. You heard me? <laughs> Tell me about yourself and all the hardship you've been through. Hear any rumors lately? What news from the other provinces? Sorry, but I haven't heard anything notable recently. Okay, thanks. Ah, I see you've introduced yourself to Veliaf. This... <laughs> this Gabe Newell game dev looking motherfucker. <laughs> This guy should not be in the Freedom Fighters, he should be in the Computer Science Lab. Oh, what can I do for you? That's the angry video game nerd? Yeah, he hasn't had time to shave because he's been too busy playing with the shitty vampires that suck ass. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Not at all, I'm sure I'll be able to help. What are you doing here? I'm a key advisor to Veliaf. He seeks my counsel on many issues before we engage the enemy. Not that we do that very often. Our foes heavily outnumber us. It's the Nostalgia Critic? Nah, the Nostalgia Critic died already in an encounter. Uh, and we mourn him every day, I guess. Or don't, it depends. We don't give up, though. After all, all that's required for evil to survive is for good people to do nothing. True. What can you tell me about the Myrik? Hang on, I have to allow someone's message that said suck your ass <laughs> in the chat room. <laughs> He's gonna suck a buffalo's ass or whatever. He's the nerd. What can you tell me about the Myrik? Well, there's multiple groups of us. Even we don't know exactly how many. The less we know about our allies, the less we can reveal to the vampires if captured. Veliaf leads this group. We operate throughout Mort Meyer and the surrounding villages. He reports to Calcidiu, who is the head of our resistance. Did I ask about Mauritania from here? From you? No, I did not. All the land on this side of the Sav is known as Mauritania. Humans and vampires are the main occupants of this region, though there are... Though other races also live out here. The humans here live like cattle, with the vampires taking regular blood tithes to keep themselves fed. All in all, it's a dire place. But we hope to change that. Have, have you heard any rumors? Yes, I hear them all the time. They're neither correct or even all that interesting, though. <laughs> you hear anything new or weird lately? Yeah, it's all made up. <laughs> this guy owns. Thanks, AVGN. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you. 
talk to you, we talk to you. Let's talk to Fred Fuckstone over here. Ah, I see you've introduced yourself to Velia. Are you planning to join the fray against the Drakens? Maybe. I'd like to ask some questions, though. What's your name? <laughs> what do you do? This, this motherfucker didn't tell me his name. All the other ones did, but he didn't. I help with anything I can. I used to be a mercenary before joining the Myreek, so I know my way around a blade. I've relied on Veliaf's sword arm many a time. I like to think that he can rely on mine. Uh, can you tell me about the Myreek? For the first time in a billion years, you've escaped the VODs and made it to the live stream. Hey, thanks for tuning on in. I hope you've been uh, enjoying whatever VODs you've been watching as well. That, that makes me makes me happy to know folks are enjoying the, the, the past streams being there. What can you tell me about the Myreek? We're the only resistance against the vampires. We're seriously outnumbered, though. Feliaf doesn't like to hear us saying hopeless, but that's our situation at the minute. Uh, what are your plans for the future? <laughs> that's more a question for Veliaf. Ultimately, though, our goal is to rid Mauritania of the vampires so we might reclaim our right to exist. For me personally, I hope that more people will join our ranks soon. Strength comes in numbers, after all. Have you heard any rumors? I have. Something you might find interesting is that Saphalon Hallow, leader of another Myreek group, has apparently managed to sneak one of his people into the vampire capital, Darkmire. They called that shit Darkmire? <laughs> oh! I think the only way you could have been more on the nose is if they called that scary blood moor. <laughs> awesome. I'm not sure how true it is, though. It'd be great, though. Okay, thanks. Talk to the doorman, I guess. This guy's name is Harold Evans. That's an awesome name. This is Ernest Evans to me. Hello there. Forgive me if I seem cautious of you, we just need to be careful with newcomers. It's fine. Mind if I ask a few questions? Sure, I'll do my best to answer them. What's your job? What's your job? Cheating death seems to be my main role. <laughs> I'm the main fighter for the group. So I'm always in the thick of it. It's gone okay for me so far, though. Oh, what can you tell me about this group? We're a good team. Many of the others haven't had any proper training before. I used to be in a militia, so I've been trying to share my knowledge as best I can. In most cases, we end up having to improvise, though. Thankfully, this lot are good at that. Ivan over there, he saved our bacon in a recent run-in with some juves. Juves? Is, is that juves or juvies? Juveniles, the lowest form of vampire. We come across them quite often around here. They may be the weakest vampires, but they're still very dangerous. They're stronger and faster than many well-trained soldiers, and twice as bloodthirsty. What's your grasp of the situation? The situation is grave. It'd be dangerous to think differently. We're really up against it, but we have no choice. This is a battle for our very existence, and we need to employ any tactics to achieve our goal. The captions did something to that Juve's bit. I mean, it wasn't a bit, I just thought that's how it was pronounced. But yeah, the captions aren't going to know that I'm reading a RuneScape word unless it's like... Granted, I fucking say that, and now I look over and it has just... made it that. <laughs> so it just didn't hear me right before, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Great. It's a battle for our very existence. We need to employ any tactics to achieve our goal. Tell me about the rumors. Yes, I hear them all the time. I don't pay attention to them, though. Okay. Is that everyone? Uh, yeah, let's talk to Veliaf again. Teen vampires, the weakest type, but the most compelling to write young adult fiction about. Well, yeah, of course they're gonna write the young adult fiction about young adults. That's what young adults... I don't even know if that's what they want to read about, but it's what the publishers decided they want to read about, you know? 
Well met, I see you've introduced yourself to everyone. Shall we discuss those weapons now? Uh, are you the leader of the group? You know them well? You're finally back to kick some tail? Can't say I particularly asked for it. The others look up to me, though, as so they decided I was the best man for the job. Uh, can you tell me about your organization? Well, I wouldn't say we're an organization. We're really not that organized. Anyway, though, we're a group of Myreek Freedom Fighters. We've, we're, we're dedicated to mounting a resist- Excuse me, a hiccup. Mounting a resistance against the Draken family and their vampire kin. I tried very hard not to make a fucking Adam Jensen I never asked for this ass joke at that comment. And I am so proud of my restraints and I look over and people in chat are doing it anyways. <laughs> Man, there's no winning. What can you tell me about Mauritania? If legend is to be believed, if memory serves... It was once a beautiful place, but then Lower Neil Draken and his vampires arrived. Who is Lower Neil? Guess I didn't ask for this either? He's a vampire that heads up the Draken family. <laughs> Helped by his brother Rannis and his sister Vanescula. What kind of fucking name is Vanescula? Vanescula is like something that I go to my doctor about and he's like, Oh, sorry, that shit's inflamed. You're gonna be pissing blood for a month, bud. Oh man. <laughs> he rules over all of Mauritania. You sound very bitter. So would you if you lost everyone dear to you at the hands of these monsters. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, what are your plans for the future? At the moment, we're maintaining a low profile here at our hideout. We were recently spotted while out on scouting missions, so we're playing it safe and lying low. Looking further ahead, we need to build more support if we have any hope of taking on the vampires. We also need to learn more about their weaknesses, so we can take advantage of them. All right, let's talk about these weapons. I give the weapons over. These weapons look great. Many thanks. Cutscene? What the? Oh God, a nasty fart gas is here. It's Vanstrom. <laughs> what the? Ah! Ah! The awesome guy lounging in the bar, like, man, I love them so much. But I have no idea where they are and have no idea how to bring them weapons. <laughs> Who could have seen it coming? <laughs> Who could have seen it coming that the dude that was so incompetently bad at his job that he needed a stranger to do it was the bad guy? Oh no! <laughs> our, our player character is a little bit bad at this. <laughs> And now a weird guy appear. Well done, you led me right to them. The little deers are going to wonder which side you're on. The Drakens have been wanting you lot dealt with for a while now. We wouldn't want to disappoint them, would we? We're dead! We're dead! Oh, she's actually dead, okay. Wow. <laughs> she's the one single woman in our group she's dead. <laughs> okay. Alright. I see how it is. I see how it is, Jagex circa 2006-2007. I hate when girls die. Sorry, Harold. You too. You're doing blood suck on them. Now a little gift for the rest of you. Nasty motherfucker appears. Maybe I could have brought a better weapon. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, this guy seems strong. Can I leave? That's saying, am I sure I want to leave? Hmm. I didn't realize it just kind of tossed me in the thick of it. Yes. Why? Do, do I have to fight that thing? <laughs> I'm gonna look that up, actually. Let's see. Uh, uh, this motherfucker appears. You have to kill the hellhound. It's fairly hard. Okay, so I should use... magic on it. Because uh, it has no magic defense and the game doesn't do anything to tell you that. <laughs> okay. Well... I'm just gonna teleport out real quick. Come back with uh, more food and and uh, a staff, so that I can just blow this thing up. Maybe I should have done that in the first place because you know this the sickle doesn't really do a lot of damage. But I brought it with me because I didn't realize I'd be doing combat. <laughs> So, uh, let's bring all my damn chaos runes and, uh, my magic awesome clothes. Where did I put my... there. Okay. Let's get some more lobsters. I mean, that's too many lobsters. That's fine. I don't need this... I've been carrying this coal bag with me this whole time. I didn't need it. Put all the fishing stuff away. No, I didn't need to put that in there and to put it on. Okay. Now I'm wearing. Maybe the dog just wants a treat? No. Uh, okay, it's already got auto spell on. That's good. Let's get my prayer up. Because I used it to make the, the funny druid pouch. Get that up. Uh, thank you, God, or whatever. Let's go back to Shades of Morton. <laughs> Pretty soon it's gonna be awesome to go to Shades of Morton instead of me gritting my teeth a little. But not yet. Okay, quick board swamp Bodie. Oh swamp Bodie, you gotta help me out here. Oh swamp Bodie, I love you, man. You're basically my bravest hero in these trying times. Alright. Now that I've got any gear at all. Uh, easy. Easy quest. Easy life. No problems at all. No problems with my kicking. I've got prayers I can use. Might as well. Hey man. I'm just gonna go over here if you don't mind. <laughs> wow, this thing hurts. Oh god, why does this thing hurt so much? That's so scary, Quest! I did put the prayer on. Okay. It's almost dead, but I gotta eat my damn foods. I'm glad I brought all these lobsters! <laughs> oh, bad time to miss my spells! 
bro, you have to stop missing. I'm begging you. <laughs> this quest has been a goddamn nightmare. Let's go. <laughs> Oh. Well, rip to those guys. That murderer killed them. The oh my god, the chat head, the hair is clipping through it. <laughs> Have having this somber, uh oh, I fucked up moment, and my hair is clipping through my hat. <laughs> this is truly a disaster on all fronts. It really is all my fault. I don't understand, though. He said you led him here. How? He was the one that asked me to bring the weapons to you. He looked like a human, though. I'm sorry, friend, but he clearly took advantage of you. Vampires can shapeshift to look like humans. Someone from around here might have realized. You were not to know, though. No. I'm still responsible, though. The burden of what happened here is for your conscience to bear. That said, you managed to kill that pet of his. We might all be dead if not for you. I imagine you now see why we fight for our freedom. Yes, I think I understand. She she's back to all smiles! <laughs> Is there anything I can do to help now? I first met Vanstrom and Canifus. I could go back and see if he's still there. I suspect he'll have moved on now. You're welcome to try, though. I know of a shortcut that you might find useful. If you head back into the main cave and go north, you'll reach a wall. There's a hidden door in that wall that leads right into the basement of the Hair of the Dog Tavern. That is useful, thanks. <laughs> Once you are done, I'd appreciate you coming back here to discuss a few things. You held your own against that creature. That's a very generous way of putting it. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence in me. My prayer ran out and interrupted the dialogue. <laughs> Go and see if Vanstrom is still in cannabis. Come back once you're done and we'll talk. Uh, what do you plan to do now? We won't be able to stay here now that Vanstrom knows we're, we've been hiding. We have some time, though. He'll expect that we're all dead. We'll use that time to form a new plan of action. Okay, thanks. Alright, let's, uh... Talk to everyone else and see how sad they are. We'll make them all pay. It's a dark day for the Myriek. I'm so sorry for your loss. Don't worry. No- <laughs> Don't worry! No one blames you! Maybe they ought to! This is gonna be a recurring trend in RuneScape, I'm told. You were tricked and that's that. It serves no useful purpose to blame any of ourselves for this. Thank God you managed to kill that awful beast. I wish we could have done more. I thought they were gonna do more! They were just all standing there! <laughs> oh, if there's anything else I can do, let me know. <laughs> Search the wall. People simply do not hold the world's guardian responsible for anything. Oh, you're not the world guardian in this one. You kind of are just some guy. That's RS3, that one different. Ah! Was wondering what that trapdoor was for. Now I know. Holly can fuck up big time as a treat. I suppose. <laughs> Horrible ghoul tricks RuneScape Protag into doing something awful would have been more annoying as a trope if it wasn't spaced out by actual years. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's true. Talk to stranger. Hey, bro. What's up? I thought you were someone else. Who'd you think I was? I thought you were that dirty murderer Vanstrom. Oh, it sounds like you got a score to settle. I sure do. 
Dude, I'm gonna fuck him up next time I see him. Fuck that guy. I think we've been through this before, haven't we? <laughs> but yeah, there is also just a normal-ass vampire in here who uh, stops being rendered when certain walls are in frame. So this guy's just pants! Okay. Feeling good! We call him Legs the Barmaid. Okay, well, while I'm here, let's, uh, stock up on more lobsters. Maybe put some other things away. <laughs> um, I'll keep my runes so I can keep casting. I probably don't need the hammer and saw, but I'll keep them just in case. I have to get more to do this. I don't need this one right now. And I don't know what the next quest requires of me, because I haven't started it yet, so... Let's just get ten lobsters and play it safe! That's a bug with 3D weather? Okay, well, it's cute, so... Did Varlamore come out today? Yes! Uh, literally launched today. And I haven't done the intro quest because I have been saving quests for streams. And I haven't been up to streaming in a while. And I wanted to do this instead today! <laughs> and maybe if I have time, I'll do, like, Grand Tree or something and unlock, uh, Talking to Trees. Any luck in Canifis? I went back to the place where I met Vanstrom and he was gone! Whoop! I had to shuffle my chair around and it made a weird sound. Feared as much, worry not. The day will come when we get our revenge on him and the rest of his kind. Anyway, now that you're back, there was something I was hoping you'd help us with. Yeah, okay. Now that our base of operations is no longer safe, we're going to need to relocate before the Firewatch descend on us. Seems like a wise move. What part do I play? To the south of Morton? Oh, I'm familiar with Morton. <laughs> There's an old town known as Berg de Rot. The place was abandoned, but I hear some escapees from Meyerditch have made their home there. And you want me to scout the place out? Exactly. Head down to Berg de Rot and see if you can find a suitable place for our new hideout. While you're there, do what you can to forge a good relationship with the townspeople. I'll get it done. Be sure to take a weapon of silver with you. You'll find it of great use if vampires attack. Good luck! You know, I think I have at least one weapon of silver lying around, other than the fucking sickle. I'm gonna go get fucking silver light <laughs> real quick. It's always fun to walk by and see the, the agility motherfuckers doing agility here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think Silver Light is probably stronger than, uh, than Wolf's Bane, so I'll take Silver Light with me. It's Silver Time! I'm sure this quest will be awesome and we won't have any difficulties and nothing bad will happen. Um, and it'll be it'll be a cakewalk, it'll be a breeze, it'll be really easy to do and get through. We'll have no troubles at all. It'll be really short, we'll have a great time and we'll clap our hands and play. Hey, hang on, actually. No, no, don't autocross. No, go, go back. You autocross the bridge now, I guess. Okay. I wanted to talk to uh, this guy and see what he had to say. <laughs> Nothing. You, you, you let a dude in. Or maybe they snuck in. I don't know. But you let a dude in. He's got nothing to say about it. Maybe he had something to say in the, in the previous quest and I missed it or something. I ended it before talking to him. 
All right. Oh man, what do you want? Yeah, I'll do a mime show. Hurry up before the ghouls take me. Man, after everything else that just happened, this is a little goddamn funny. Sorry you led the awful murderer guy to, like, the freedom fighters and got, like, a bunch of them killed. Do you want to do pantomimes for me? Do you want to laugh in front of an audience? In front of a live studio audience? Of strange watchers? I do love that there's, like, actually people watching. Cry? Cry a little? Cry a little? It's us? Wow. The Twitch chat is looking great today. I hope all three of you watching my stream are having fun. You you all have to decide which three of you are the ones watching. Now I'm noticing more than three of you, so you're gonna have to like draw straws here. We're here in fucking Morton. I could blow up this lore shade with a couple of spells and it'd feel really good. I won't, but I could. Hey man, can I come in? The townspeople don't want visitors. Stay away from our stuff. What on earth makes you think I want your food or your blood? Don't try to sweet talk me, I know you want something, but we got nothing. What blood we've got, we're keeping for ourselves. You can tell stinking vents from to go suck a cow's udder. As for food, why we've barely got enough to feed ourselves, so you ain't having none. What is this place? You're in the rafters? Why are you fucking up there? You hate heights. Get down from there! This is our town. We live here. It's called Berg de Rot, and you're not coming in. These motherfuckers are green like a the Hulk. But like pale green, like a anemic Hulk. Something bad is happening. We gotta help them. Where'd y'all come from? We escaped from the vampires. They had us trapped in Meyerditch to drink our blood. Yuck! What's Meyerditch? As if you don't know, it's that dark city to the east where humans are kept like animals to feed those greedy, evil vampires. Oh, no wonder they all look sick. Yuck! Sounds awful. Let me in and I'll help you. Yeah, okay then, and no way! You can't trick me like that! Why would I want your blood? You're probably one of them stinging vampires in disguise. You ain't coming in. I don't want your blood. We don't care. You probably want our food then, so you ain't coming in. Why would I want your food? You probably want to eat it all, and we ain't gonna let you. I don't want to eat your food. I'm plenty healthy enough. I got like 40 more in that stat. Well, that says maybe, but you probably wants to drink our blood, and you ain't having it, and you ain't coming in. Okay. Bye. So when I... When I search open chest, contains empty packages. Looks like they were used to hold food. What happened? Food in. Blimey, did you see that? She put some food in the chest for us. She's probably not after anything. Hey, we're all wondering what you put in that chest. <laughs> How come you have no food? Well, obviously, we just don't seem to get out of the shops like we used to. <laughs> Fair. What is this place? Uh, it ain't it ain't much, but it's home. What do you do here? My, I thought this guy's name was Filth. I read it wrong. My name's Florin. I just help out around here, you know, looking for food and so on. 
Any out-of-the-way places here? Smile? How do you mean, out-of-the-way? Somewhere where myself and a couple of friends could hold up for a while without attracting any vampire attention. Ah, right, I know what you mean. Let's think now. Where's the inn? You could look there, I suppose. Would love to meet a guy named Filth. I feel there's gotta be at least one out there. There... There are so many people out in this wide world, and several of them pick names for themselves. Several of them pick names for themselves that sound funny because they sound funny. Filth Randall is, is still a threat. Filth Randall is still at large. Thank you, Minty Fresh, or Mintly Fresh, sorry for the raid. Hope you had a wonderful stream today. Uh, we just did an awesome quest and had no problems doing it, and it was great. And it was fine, and I definitely didn't spend three hours doing it. Well, there's the inn. You could look there, I suppose. The cellar would have been useful, but the trap door down to it is covered with rubble from a broken wall. The cellar itself is probably filled with rubble as well. But you may be able to do something with it. Well, that could work. Thanks. Listen, if you do decide to join us here, we'll expect you to contribute. You know, help us to fix things up a bit. Okay. Let's see. In aid of the Myreek. Uh, construct a new base for them. Oh, the music here is fun. What is... Is he just holding... <laughs> Is that just a rat on a stick? That's awesome. How's it going? Not so bad. What do you mean, how come you have no food? Dude's got food right there! We dare not leave the town for fear that the vampires might spot us and force us to pay a blood tithe. We're all very weak and would most likely die if they took more blood from us. Uh, what is this place? Our town! We live here! That's the same dialogue as the other guy. Uh, what do you do here? Oh, I'm- oh, hi, I'm Vazil. I hunt rats, mostly. Speaking of which, this rat tastes awful, but it's the only food we have! <laughs> this is almost Laura Palmer's theme? Nah, I don't hear it. Uh, are there any out-of-the-way places here? Is this just going to be the same dialogue? Yes. Okay. It, it would need a different piano line, yeah. Okay, so the unique dialogue just seems to be, what do you do here? Hello, Elizabetta. What do you do here? Uh, the village leader. Okay. This guy's name is Luscious. What do you do here? I just help out around here, you know, looking for food and so on. <laughs> oh, yeah, th this is no longer even slightly Twin Peaks. This is now, like, Haunted House. This owns. Uh, hey. What do you do here? I'm just trying to stay warm. Respect. Simona. What do you do here? Also just trying to stay warm. Okay. Now I can see on the map that there's like, you know, general store and bank and stuff. I assume when they're like, hey, you gotta help us out, we probably need to like fix up the facilities or some at. How's it going? Well, what do you do here? The village store owner. Can you open the shop for me? No. <laughs> I cannot open a store which has no stock. Okay, thanks. Let's go check out the the pub, because that's the place where they said we could go, the inn. Let's see how this inn's doing. Uh, not so good, from the looks of it. How do we get to this trapdoor, also? There's a rubble pile here. Can't reach it. Okay. 
rubble is covering a trapdoor. I wonder what's under it. We can search rubble pile here. Search the pile of rubble and find nothing of note. It seems this is where the locals dump their rubbish. Okay, is it really just... Just ask me to construct a new base. Okay. I have bricks. Could always talk to this guy, see what he has to say. He's got a hammer. Oh. Uh, no, that's rat guy. Never mind, that's not a hammer. That's a rat. I thought it was a hammer. I thought he was fixing stuff. That's a rat. That's Rat Guy. What do you do here? Okay, thanks. Rat Guy. Child. Sad child. Father Gregory is here. Uh, what do you do here? Not that it makes much difference, but my name's Grigory. Like all the other survivors here, I just try to make do and get through each day at a time. Let me guess, you're just gonna talk about the same out-of-the-way place? Uh, it's rubble, you might be able to do something. Okay, thanks. Uh, thank you, Inverted Era, for the bees. Much appreciated. Now, there was an option to climb up here. I might also eventually at some point just go, eh, fuck it, I'll look it up, but I'm having fun poking around right now. Inspect broken roof. The planks are all rotten and the nails have gone rusty. They want me to bring more planks and nails, huh? They want me to bring one plank and 2,000 nails again, don't they? Getting a bit of a feeling here. <laughs> getting getting a bit of a feeling here. There's a broken furnace. A large hole in the chimney of the furnace. Ooh, there's a vampire over there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! There's juvies over there. Inspect bank booth. Awful condition. A lot of broken glass, and most of the wooden structure of the booth has been destroyed. I can still vote, though! <laughs> no, never mind, I can't! But it's in pristine condition! <laughs> what do you do here? I don't really do anything here. It's burnt to rot. Okay, thanks. Maybe they want me to go back and talk to... Um... The, the, the Myrique guys and tell them, hey. We can always set up shop here, but they want us to help out. There's also... Oh, climb over broken wall. I haven't I hadn't noticed that. There we go. Locked by some rubble. Let's mine the Okay, so you need a pickaxe. Okay. Okay. Okay, sure. You get one agility experience if you do that. You <laughs> You get one agility experience if you do that. Genuinely huge for the account. Genuinely huge for the account. Oh god, the fucking shades are after me again. What do I do? Psych, motherfucker. I'm taking the damn boat. I'm taking the damn boat. There's not a fucking thing you can do to stop me. I'm quick bored. I'm out. I, I love the gas just going like, ooh, <laughs> two capital O's. It has such a cuteness to it. 
their cuteness is restored. Oh, a terrible stench has appeared because I ran out of druid pouch. And I didn't refresh my prayer. Oh well. So it goes. I should do that. <laughs> I should go and do that, actually. Expeditiously. Um... I'm gonna need my home teleport to refresh so I can do that. I should start bringing some runes for teleports with me as well. That'll be handy for this quest. Well, while we're here, we might as well say hi. I guess the Meyer gas kind of did take a diarrhea dump, didn't it? Hey guys. Sorry for getting your friends killed. Is it okay if I drop this heap of shit that I found in the swamp? Don't ask where I found it. Uh, oh, you know, you just tell me what I gotta do again. Okay. I was wondering if maybe I could go and say, yeah, they, they said we can come in. We just gotta help them. Even if it didn't do anything, extra dialogue would have been cute. Stop walking so I can teleport. Thank you! Okay, let's go talk to God again. And then we'll go to the bank. And since I do need weapons of silver, maybe I should wear, like, armor? Because I'm not going to be casting if I... Because I don't know. You can't, you can't use silver spell. That doesn't exist. What the hell's that going to do against a vampire? Vampire don't care about fire. It's not made out of mistletoe and myrrh and incense and whatever. Vampires hate all kinds of stuff like that. Should get that shit on lock. Get that equipped. I'm always so delighted by the single large rat over in the woods there. It's a good damn rat. Oh, I am starting to feel the fatigue hit me like a bit of a wall. Uh, maybe I just do this quest tonight. <laughs> and I can do... Uh, the fucking... Gnome teleport motherfucker quests another time. I probably won't need Go Speak Amulet, and if I do, I can just go to a bank. I haven't needed it so far. I was working under the assumption I would. I'm gonna keep the hammer and saw, just in case, because now I'm convinced there's gonna be more construction stuff. I'll have to get more, uh, druid pouch stuff. Let's get, um, my, my, my law runes out so I can teleport. Uh, might be able to stream a bit tomorrow morning. We got something going on in the evening, but I may be able to stream then if I wanna. I might, I might call it soon. Actually, now that I think about it, but I want to do at least a little more, you know. Let's see. Uh, what else should I bring? I should probably bring nails. I should probably bring nails. I would have to make more nails, which means I need to make more steel. Uh, that's going to be a whole thing. <laughs> Actually, you know what? The thought of having to make a shit ton of nails right now, this late at night when I'm starting to get sleepy, is really goddamn daunting. And maybe that's the sign that I, that I call stream for the night and go to bed. Uh, <laughs> this was this was a nice little sort of dipping my toes back in, getting used to streaming again after after some absence. I had fun. I'm able to have fun doing this, so I'm happy about that. Mission successful. Um, I'm tired now, though. <laughs> so uh, I'll probably.
probably come back, like, tomorrow morning or after- Hang on, this guy's name is KBD's Nuts. Good fucking username. Good fucking username. Respect. Um... I'll probably just do a stream again tomorrow morning, afternoon, if I'm feeling it. And then we can finish this quest. The, the main thing I want to do for this quest is I know at some point you get to use the fucking bank again in Berg de Rot. And I want that so that I can do fucking... <laughs> do my Slayer task in Shades of Morton and just have a bank nearby to change out my stuff to do Shades of Morton. Uh, so I can technically just unlock the bank and then skip the rest of the quest, but I might as well do the rest of the quest, you know? I think that's the plan. We'll do that. And you know, I changed my mind. I did enjoy playing Old School RuneScape today. Thumbs up, actually. <laughs> like the outfit right now? Thank you. It's the best armor I have access to until I get more smithing or find places that sell Runite stuff, but, uh, I like the green. Like a damn Hulk. Okay, that's the stream. Uh... Thanks for... Thanks for tuning in. I can't rightly commit to, like, more streams consistently anytime soon. Again, like I mentioned at the start, uh, I'm... Not doing so super hot, so I'm making sure that I'm, like, taking care of myself first and foremost. Uh, which, you know, means trying to get myself to do less work, even if it's the fun work like this. <laughs> so, uh, streams will happen when they happen, I suppose, but, uh, I'll try to do one tomorrow. And if not, that's okay, but, uh, at least right now I'd like to, so... We'll see how that goes. Uh, but thanks for thanks for tuning in. I hope you all had a good time. I sure did. Um, I'll see you. I'll see you when I see you. I suppose. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you all very much for tuning in. It's been. It's been good chatting with folks again. I've I've been like poking into the Discord every now and then, but you know, that's a different energy than a stream. So it's been it's been fun. Uh make sure you're taking care of yourselves and taking care of the folks around you. And I I hope we see you again soon. Good night.